Boom! And we are live with another episode of the Brownwater Banter Podcast. My name is Jared Seymour. My name is Joey K. That's right, and we got a great show for you this evening, man. We got Zach Rushing in the studio. Finally, man, we've been talking about this one for a while. Me and Joey, at least. I appreciate uh, y'all having. Oh, me. dude, we're stoked to have you in here, man. Uh, Facebook destroyer of videos, views throughout the yin yang, uh, rants. I love it. Uh, but before we jump into all that, we're going to thank the sponsors, the people who keep the show. Uh, rolling for us and uh, right out the gate dr robbie williams right over at southern magnolia smiles man you can uh, check him out on the uh, socials at southern magnolia smiles uh 2023 is the year to keep your mouth clean so he's located right over here in washington avenue in ocean springs he's local uh give him a call at 228-215-1202 and book that appointment uh next up hill tree marketing if you need a website built for any reason jesse hill and his team over at hill tree marketing can take you from zero concept all the way to a full-blown award-winning website just check them out hilltreemarketing.com you'll probably be familiar with some of the brands that he's worked with or you can jump over to brownwaterbanter.com because he built ours too <laughs> <laughs> right Winning. uh taylor and cox law firm over in uh pascagoula man that's our buddy tyler right there if you find yourself in the need for some legal representation uh they specialize in criminal law family law and civil litigation defense they are some dogs, man. They will get out there and fight for you. Uh, like I said, 30 years of experience in uh, Pascagoula. Uh, everybody we've talked to, and, and now that we know them, we highly recommend them. Uh, if you need any representation, like I said, give them a shout. 228-696-0111. And we're happy to have them on board. That's it. Our buddy Rocky over at Sea to Swamp. He has two locations now, Gaucher and Gulfport. All your outdoor apparel, tackle, rods, reels, fishing shirts, brown water hats, everything you need for a fun day out on the water or really uh, in the in the woods. Does he do? Yeah, he does. He does yeah, he's stuff. got a uh, summit. He carries all kinds. He's got the tree stands and all the other okay. stuff. Okay, yeah. Uh, give him a call at the Gaucher location, uh, 228-205-3964. Uh, Gulfport location, he's slinging kayaks. It's a lot of square footage over there. He's on Pass Road. If you want to look him up on the socials at C, the number two, and then Swamp. He's on Facebook. Go check him out. We had Kendrick come on, Forever Young, um, Women and Men's Health. If you're feeling sluggish, feeling like you can't get in the gym, you don't know why, you're tired all the time, Kendrick's your guy, man. Go let him check you out. Do some lab work. See where your testosterone level is at. See if maybe you need some hormone replacement. He does men, uh, specializes in men's health and women's health as well. We found a little fun fact. Women need testosterone in their life as well. So, uh he can do couples appointments. He told us. Bring <laughs> maybe, your lady, you do, maybe you can bring, do a, uh, yeah. a honeymoon. Yeah, trip. bring your lady in because you don't want to get ahead of her on the hormone replacement because then you'll yeah. just be out there hanging out by yourself, and that's not a good thing, <laughs> right? So uh, you'll be able to do a tree out yeah, there in the you, parking lot. don't know what's going on. So give him a call at 228-363-6623. Uh, and, again, he's local, man. All the, all of our people, all of our sponsors are local, right here in the community, and uh, half of them have been on the show. Yep. I think all of them have been on the show, actually. So, uh, and then last but certainly not least, over in Latimer. Uh, what is this, Joey? You you know more about this than I do. Uh, that's this. Uh, it's coming up July. When is it? July first. Yeah, yes, Saturday. Community market. Yeah. So it's Ladder Community Center. If you know where Ladder Community Center is, it's all local vendors. They pack it up. Is that the one we went to? Yes, yeah, the one we went okay, to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So just, tons of vendors out right. there, arts and crafts, indoor and outdoor. Um, they probably got some stuff for the kids. They always do. Yeah. Uh, that's 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Saturday, July the 1st. It's on Tucker Road, like Joey said. It's it's the Latimer Community Center. Uh, go good check it out, man. Beer, baby. Yeah, it's family friendly, and uh, you'll meet some good people for mm -hmm. sure. And hopefully get some good art and, and stuff like that. Food, so, food, good food. There we go. Glad to have them uh, with us as well. So, yep. all right, Zach. Man, how do we unpack this this whole shebang here? So, <laughs> where, yeah, where ask, do we start, baby? Y'all ask the question. Yeah. I know there's a lot. Going what day on. were you born? Right. Let's we'll start there. <laughs> and what is your social security yeah. number? No, you want I'm the kidding. pin number? With right. It? Yeah. In the bank account. Yeah. 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 So uh, local guy, right? Started off here on the coast. We'll market Mississippi. Let's That's use right. these coasters since uh, Splash Match is already in the in comments. Yeah, I love yeah. it. I love it. Show it to him, Joey. I'm on there it. There it is, baby. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it was me. I was the one fucking. Oh, yeah. Me. Me. Uh, no, where did all this social media craziness start, bro? Uh, believe it or not, it started on Snapchat like six years ago. And I would literally just get in my truck, and I was working in Baxterville up by Lumber, uh, past Lumberton. Okay. And I was building a shooting range up there for like clay targets for my buddy. Nice. And it was like an hour and 10 minute drive back and forth every day. And I would just, these people up there are nuts. I mean, we're talking like deliverance country. I love it. I mean, we really are. Banjos, as soon as you pull in. As yeah. soon as you pull in, you can smell the inbreeding. It's absolutely amazing. And the moonshine. I don't know, I don't yeah. know if I want to smell that. Yeah, I mean, it, it was not as bad as what you think. I've had worse. Right, right, right. right. At the same right. time, like an hour and 10 minutes back and forth, 
I would just tell stories. Like I, I just started making Snapchat. This is back when Snapchat, you could roll that somebody for like six minutes long on your story. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. going to go ahead and admit that I was too old to get into the Snapchat. Yeah. My, my old ass never really caught that. I didn't get to do it. Well, but- I, I mean, it, it was it was one of the things where I was literally just fucking with my buddies. I had like 12 people in my Snapchat. Right. And then I woke up one day and I had like 1,300. And I'm like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> and then uh, like it, I just kept doing these stories and I ended up getting up to about 6,000. Well, in my mind, I'm famous. Yeah, you, oh, you yeah. made it. I've made it. I got 6,000 followers <laughs> on the Snapchat. Internet. Hey, hey, the Rolling Stones, <laughs> Jimi Hendrix, Zach you. Rush. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then – uh. 2019 come along and they were just starting to do all these disney remakes right they were fitting to take disney movies from like our childhood and make them into like real real live, movies, real yeah. real mation i guess is what you call right. shit and i made this video and everybody thinks it's my black cookout video that's what was. i that's exactly yeah. what I yeah thought. everybody thought that was my first video it wasn't see i made a video about the lion king where i basically said if you think that in March of 2019, that my 26 year old ass has been to go to the movie theater, pay twenty dollars for a ticket, twelve dollars for a popcorn, eight dollars for a coke, just to watch a bunch of Disney movies that they didn't change the story of, they just remade. Right. You were absolutely fucking correct. I'm gonna be in the front <laughs> row of that bitch. <laughs> <Curve ball. laughs> and when, when that song hits, I'm gonna be singing, Ah, yeah, so when yeah, you're yeah, gonna yeah. buy me a pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, that's it. And that one went viral. Like it went, I did it on Facebook. I was actually, I was actually just fucking with my buddy Possum. Because he's like a huge, di- he's one of these grown ass men that goes to Disney like all the time. Just to get any kids or anything like that. He just goes to Disney World. Yeah, yeah he's not, oh, I know yeah. him. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, people yeah. that go to Disney, they, they go to Disney and just hang out. They, they, do they just go because they love it. Yeah, that, that sounds like my hell. Yeah. All right. So I went this year first time. Our families together. We went. I was so nervous. I've never been more nervous to go on a vacation because I don't like that kind of shit. Me neither. I don't like big. The, not crowds. that I don't like big crowds, like because I'm like social anxiety. I don't like waiting in lines. I don't like going on rides that much like it ain't that but it's for the kids right so i'm yeah. like i'm gonna bite the bullet wasn't as bad as i thought it was gonna be. okay you still had, not where i'm gonna go on my own you had children half yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's <laughs> yes. what i didn't even like that now <laughs> I'm saying, right. Like, right. Like, like there's like grown-ass people who like are in couples and they just oh, yeah. plan to go i got kicked out i went two years ago first time in my life I've ever been i made it three quarters of the way around epcot before i got kicked out for what so it was during that mask bullshit. Right? Uh, I told my wife, I said, if they still have any of that going on, we are not going. But we already had a she plan agreed, before it all cool happened. Yeah. But we're walking around and like, I'm at Epcot. I'm there for one thing and it's to get fucked up yeah. in a bunch of different countries. <laughs> Drink around the world. <laughs> yeah. And that was fun. That was fun. Yeah. And I was having a great time. I started in Canada and I got me the signature <laughs> drink. Was working my way through Mexico. Right. I right. made it all the way to fucking Japan. World I, traveler. I, that's it. I, I'm basically like the United yeah, like the United Nations, just right. in one body. We're correct. I got to Fuel Japan and, and I started shooting sake and stuff like that. And I've stopped like we were walking into Italy. And they had that pizza place on the side, right there on the bridge. Mm-hmm. And I was like, holy shit, that looks like the shit we used to get in the cafeterias at school. Mm-hmm. I want one. Of, I'm, I'm sloshed at this point. I'm like, yeah, square pizza. The square one. Hell yeah. 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 The best one. Yeah. With the square. Skating ring yeah. pizza. Yeah. And it was, I mean, of course, it was like seven, $7. And I didn't give a shit at the time. So I woke up there and get one. Well, I'm walking down the middle of Epcot with this pizza. And I pulled my mask down to take a bite. And one of these mini Mouse bitches wants to yell at me. because She was like, you need to move over to the side and put your mask up. I said, I'm eating pizza. Right. Like, it's not like, like, I'm not carrying the pizza. It's in my mouth. Right. And she continues. She goes, you can't do that here. You have to step over to the side, distance yourself six foot, and and then eat your pizza and put your mask back on before you start moving. I said, what kind of democratic bullshit is this? <laughs> no and doubt. as soon as I said that, it was like 15 musketeers just like <laughs> surrounded me. And I mean, these motherfuckers are like five foot tall. I'm yeah. six four. I, I don't, they, they don't bother me. Right. But like they, like four on each arm just grab my hands. And I'm walking out, and I'm screaming, Cartoon Network's way fucking better. <laughs> all the way out. Yeah, you had all seven drawers hanging off uh, of you. They was the hanging out. off of me, dog. And I, 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 and I was trucking out. But no, I just. Snow White was winking at me. Yeah. Like, oh, you bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was so. Fu- ass over yeah, <laughs> I could have took these motherfuckers and just threw them out there by the, in that pond. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? But, I mean, that, that's where the whole, like, we were talking about social media. That's where it all started. I was just fucking with my buddy about Disney. And then it went viral. And I was like, look. Everybody has that one moment where they just happen to hit the right algorithm at the right time with the right topic, and it's just right. It's, it's going stupid. And so, fast forward like two months later, and I get a buddy of mine from Perk. Uh, he was a lineman. He was my left tackle. He called me up and said, "Look, man, having a cookout over here. My family ain't seen you. Why don't you ride over?" Well. I'm like, yeah, cool. And like white people cookouts are way different than black people cookouts because right. white people cookouts, we can have like four of us and we call that a cookout. Mm-hmm. Nay, nay. 
These people, <laughs> like their their entire family is like there. a reunion. I'm, like, yes, yeah. everybody. And yeah. I pull up, and like I said in the video, the only three things that were white was that was there is the salt shaker, the napkins, and me. <laughs> and I was like, and of course, you know, I don't try to, but at the same time, I mean, like, I, I feel like I'm in danger. Right. I, I, I do. I, I don't know the culture. I don't know anything like this. But by the end of it, like I'm sure y'all saw the video, yeah. most, most people did. It um it just they were the nicest people ever and they invited me back and everything like, like that. So I just made a video when I got back in my truck. Most viral video of 2019 on all platforms of social media. Seriously? At 3.6 billion views. I did not Jesus. know. I knew. You, I told Joe the other day, B, with a billion with a B. Yes, B. And I knew that. But I didn't know it was the most for 19. Yeah, the, the, all, across all platforms, all music videos that were released that year, everything. My first black cookout, which was the title of that video. Right. Was the highest uh, numbered watch video in the world. Good Lord. But here's the problem. I know where this is going. I didn't get paid for that. <laughs> oh, uh -uh. so damn. that that video is actually the video that got me eligible to uh, to start getting paid from monetized. Monetized. Yeah, monetized. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So in order to be monetized on Facebook, first off, you have to create a business page. You can't you can't monetize a personal page, and that's all I had. You see, so I posted that video on my personal page, uh, right, right. And then right. I got a message from Facebook was like, "Hey, look." You know, this is this is ridiculous. It's Zuckerberg. He's like, yeah. yeah, Zuck Zuck's up there with yeah, his yeah, little yeah. white. Yeah. And he he basically they messaged me. He's like, hey, look, you know, you can make money doing this. I was like, how? Yeah. How? They said create a business page and start posting from there. Well, here's the thing. At this point, I've already got like 105,000 followers off of like, this is the this is all within like six days of the of the, my first black cookout. Video. Right. So I have like 105,000 followers on my personal page. And you, normally you can only have 5,000 yeah, friends. Just, I was going to say. I turned my friends off, turned the follow button on, on my personal page. Don't on my even know how to do that. On my Keep, personal yeah. page. Okay. okay. But um, so now I'm starting back over at zero. And I'm like, this is not going to be a problem. It's not, nothing's going to, it's going to be easy. So I just take my black cookout video and repost it to this one. Here's the problem. No fucking followers on this one. Zero. Like, right. So it goes nowhere. Goose egg. So for like six months, I had to post them to my business page and then share them back yeah. to my face to my personal to page. To bring everybody right. over. To bring everybody over. But that yeah. confuses people. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Correct. So now they're like, okay, what page do I really follow? Right, right, do I do right, this, right. that, and the other? But they did, they ran the analytics on that. So if I would have got paid, don't say the number. You know, you know <laughs> yeah, I do. I'll no, just, I want to know it. I'm going to be like a yeah. gut punch. Yeah. Oh, oh it, I have nightmares about it to this day. So if uh, I would have been monetized the second I post that video, by the end of 2019, I would have made 6.1 million dollars. That's Ooh. not true. That's true. That's true. And you go, and how do you? I would have thrown up again right there when yes. I said that. You, you learned, you learned, <laughs> but it was the one that got me there. You know what I'm saying? Right, so I, I can't. Six point one is a that's a big that's bigger than six even. I mean, like, <laughs> oh, it's that's one six point one. That's yeah. bigger than six even. That's bro. amazing, fucking math. I did, and that was right off the dough. And he still got his shoes on. Yes, so that's, that's <laughs> nuts. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, it, it, but it, it's like I said, it's one of them deals where that's the, the video that got me to where I'm at, and without that video going the way that it did and getting me those hundred thousand followers on my personal page to switch over right to keep to keep making content so yeah it was a gut punch but i honestly am thankful for it because i feel like if i would have made that video and it would have been monetized and went that far i probably wouldn't have made any i wouldn't have been on my grind you know what i'm saying i, I bet not i'd be i'd be willing to hedge the bet against yeah, that you would have you, you would have so? oh yeah now would it have changed your content or would you started worrying about what you said oh, I'd, I'd have been looking for the black cookouts to go to every black cookout right yeah. Yeah. Every, Cash, you Williams, invited Kevin more? Hart. Yeah. Did you invited any like uh, famous people's black cookouts? oh i got invited a bunch of them like a whole bunch but i mean they they didn't know how to get in touch with me <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not like i had a media team at right, that time right, you know what i'm saying they kept going to his personal page and did his business page and no, they were confused. Like, we give up. <laughs> and, and yeah, I, Facebook can't. It's Mark Zuckerberg. He could have retroactively went back and given you half of that. I mean, if he would have given me like one percent, I'd have been straight. But, but they're like, no, no, uh, they're they're like the biggest, like the, seriously, the biggest assholes in the whole world. Oh, and and I don't even know what you go through, but I just know every time they make an update for me, like on the creator studio side of shit, yeah. th there's no one you can just call and say, hey, you remember no. that button that was right here that is now buried in six deep in a different menu? Yeah. How do I get to that? Okay, no. so. Uh, they had a program started in 2021. It was a management uh, appeal program where they chose select 
creators from around the platform. Facebook did, mm -hmm. and gave them managers. Where we actually had a contact right. on Facebook. That makes sense. It, and it was amazing. I mean, don't get me wrong; they, you, you couldn't call them on the phone. Like you had to set up like a phone call like a month out, but you always knew you had that ace in the hole if, right. if you ran into trouble. Right. Well, January of this year, they shut the program down. Okay. So now me, which, which I I have a lot of good friends in social media and stuff that I've met through this. I mean, Dustin Sims travels with me. Chad Prather travels with yeah. me. Um, Ginger Billy's a good friend of mine. Oh no shit! Yeah, I, I mean, love his stuff. Yeah, Ginger's a really really cool guy, man. He's uh he's the goat of all this. He's been doing it a long time. A lot of people don't know he's been doing this since 2013. See, that's another thing. People think <laughs> myself included. Like I thought, you know, obviously I thought your cookout video was number was your first thing. But right. like with him, you know, you just think that people just pop on the scene. You don't realize yeah, he's been grinding. Yeah, no, that dude's been grinding. Yeah, like, yeah, he, yeah. Like he, but what makes me he's got ice. What yeah, makes please. me respect Ginger more is that like got this cool. We ice didn't ice. get monetized on Facebook until 2018. That's when you started making money. So he was grinding for like six years with no pay. Because Facebook didn't pay or he just didn't qualify? No, well, he, he was just doing it for fun. Yeah, well, no, fa Facebook didn't pay. YouTube paid, you know, but Facebook didn't get the ads. Since, see, they really blew up like in the late teens of, of the 2000s. Now, I, I knew that. Do you remember Do you remember when Facebook would, uh, if you shared a YouTube video on Facebook, the YouTube video would play? Yeah, it won't do that it, now. Right, yeah. because they figured out the video is the game. That's right. And video is the money. So now it's just a link if you post it on there. This it's been whole, that way since probably when you're talking. Exactly. About it. Yeah. And this whole social media thing, no matter if you're dealing with TikTok, if you're dealing with Instagram, if you're dealing with Twitter, you know, Facebook, uh, in, any of them, it's all a money game. That's all That's all it is. Correct. Is money. I mean, Correct. and don't get me wrong, but we love creating content. And I love the fact that I get so much support from my fans and stuff like that. But at the same time, it is a business. Like we took, we put a lot of work and thought and, and, research and all this stuff into our content before we make it now mine's a little bit different than what ginger is i'm not repainting a, a, a nissan truck like 17 <laughs> times i do this hey, put the, uh, a bush hog yeah, yeah, yeah i'm not doing that <laughs> turn okay. the zero turn into like a little mini backhoe yeah i, I, I saw that, that. It, that did, it, did, it didn't push shit no it didn't <laughs> but it looked cool i called him the next day i was like how'd that work he goes, not good not yeah. good <laughs> but he's a little big fella ain't he he's like he five jacked. yeah yeah he's jacked. jacked up yeah gb's like five six i will tell you this though and i don't know i don't know him at all but i noticed that his videos it, the latest one that I saw, it looks like the background has upgraded a little bit. Like he might be doing okay. He is. Um, he's actually my mentor. He is. I, I'll, I'll give. I'll give him that credit. Really? He, um, anytime that I need have any questions, because he's been through it all. You know, he's been through copyright violations. He's been through uh, content violations, all that type of stuff. Yeah. So anytime I have any kind of problems, I call him, and he's just got it pretty much down pat now. Like, okay, for instance, I was having a hard time selling my tickets to my to my shows about six months ago. Which I got canceled last year anyway for some shit that went down. We'll get into that. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll get to that. But I had I had this agent right, and he was he was telling me, you know, hey, look, you know, make a video about this uh about this show, make a video about this show, and let people know you're coming. Well, that's all well and good, but it's a business. So Facebook makes their money by advertising, right? Okay, and they're not gonna they're. I mean, they're, they're not going to let you just advertise for free just because you have a big platform. They're going to throttle it down. They, they throttle it down. Yeah. It kills your algorithm. So, right, I, so right, I, right. I called up GB. I was like, dude, like, what am I doing wrong? Like, how, how am I messing this up? He told me, he said, look, never post a video about your shows, ever. He said, create an event, spend some of your money, promote mm -hmm. that event in those, those areas, yeah, yeah. and then put it on your story. And I said, dude, like, like I ain't got the following you got. I mean, he's he's at six million. I'm You're coming, at two I, something. I, I'm creeping up on three. Yeah, but 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 he but he's he's at six. I mean, like a hard six. And um, yeah, I, he said, just trust me, Zach. Just do it. Call me in a week. So my first time doing it was for the show that's we're going to talk about here in a few yeah. minutes. Yeah. Biloxi, by the yeah, way. The Biloxi, everybody. yeah. People in the comments already know. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the first time I did it was for that. I never mentioned it on anything other than my story in that event. And I have the app right here. I checked it right before we went live. And as of, I'm going I'm to I'm be on. Okay, if I can unlock my God. <laughs> never mind. Number, hey, I'm good at math if you need me to help you out. <laughs> yeah, I've already put, proven that. I don't put facial recognition on my phone because so, there's a bunch of ugly motherfuckers might be able to open this. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. uh, hey, hold on. Come here. I need you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so uh, right before we went, we were at 100% sold out. There it is. Yep. Damn it. Yeah, we're, At your show? We're 100% sorry. Oh, I, I mean, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> but, and I called him, like, because when I put it up, it was like three days, and I was at, like, 78% sold out. I was like, dude, you're a fucking genius. He goes, buy me a beer next time I'm in Biloxi. So, no shit. Done. Yeah. You know Tell what I mean? Like too. Fishing. Yeah, really. Yeah. He, he's, been, he's been, he's been. I'm going to have to give you, can I just give you cash straight up and just sneak in? <laughs> I already set y'all tickets aside. Okay, don't don't worry about that. Yeah. Nah, that come out of yeah. that. But yeah. I was talking to him yesterday. He was like, dude, I really want to come down and go catch some red snapper. Bruh. I said. Well, let's do it. He goes, I got a problem. I said, what? He said, 
I get so seasick. Oh, you don't want to do it, dude. Well, yeah. Unless you, you can better see me up. Yeah, doctor, you up. He, oh, here's that, though. He's from South Carolina. So when they, they got fishing? I know that. Yeah. Whenever he goes out, though, they got them big Atlantic rollers. So it's, well, just, it's just like this. And I try yeah. to explain to him, it's like, dude, these waves that we're dealing with are like eight to ten inches in between with one foot. Like, you're not going to get sick. I, Unless I, it's today. I wouldn't say today, that. today is like <laughs> Unless a it's this storm. week, yeah. yeah. I, feel, I feel his pain, though, because I'm man enough to admit I get seasick, too. Yeah, I, mean, I, I have before. But I fight. You can try try medicine him up. You can give him some driving mean. I got a little patches. Woozy, I got a little woozy the other day when I, he was out there. I just want to go buy a shrimp boat and like jig up a shark and just push him overboard. I just want to see what he'll do. What that? I, I literally just want to see you'd that. Break, you'd, break, you'd break the internet. Yeah. I, I guarantee you it yeah. will. You, everybody seen a redheaded Jesus walk on water? <laughs> I mean, I, I want to. <laughs> that's yeah, it. Across the top of the water. He will break characters so fast. I know the man. Damn. But, no, he's a he's a really good guy. And um, he just, between him and, see, he had a really bad time on social media, too. He got hooked up with this company called Bang Productions. I'm pretty sure y'all probably oh. see it. Um, uh, Darren Knight's underneath them. Catfish Cooley was underneath yeah, them. I, I, I know, yeah, I know yeah, Catfish Cooley. Cool. Uh, yeah, so this guy that runs it um, was reaching out to me, trying to get me to sign on with his – Let me guess, he scammed everybody. Oh, of mil- millions of dollars. Uh, mi- right. Millions. Uh, Cle- he had Cletus T. Judd. I, I talked yeah, to Cletus this I was going to bring him up just because of the, the – Well, Ginger Billy and Cletus – who's Ginger Billy's really got the song. Yes. Yeah, they're like yeah, the yeah. number one on the Billboard. Yeah, yeah they just, they just yeah. released that song. I was talking to Cletus earlier. Cletus, I'm having a, a charity golf tournament. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping to have it done this year, but he's gonna come down and play in it. Okay, yeah. yeah so that's that, down here. Yeah, I'm gonna did, do it. I'm gonna try to do it, Grand Did we yeah. fi- did we figure out what his what was his thing that the, his biggest thing was it? A, it was a song. What? Please. Please? Yeah, yeah. He it did was, like he took uh, "Paint Me a Birmingham" and turned it into "Bake Me a Country Ham." Like it was parodies. Okay. You know, back so he in did the parody day. songs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he was real big in with the, like uh, Toby Keith and and, and okay. all. Then they all ran together. Yeah. Rodney Carrington. Yes. They, they they all ran together. Okay. But no, it's 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 been a wild ride on social media, man. It really has. And to be honest with you, growing up in Wool Market and you know being the fat kid the majority of your time through school, and you had your few select friends, and then you know you turn out to be a little bit halfway decent at football, and you go off to college stuff. Like you just don't. I always wanted to come home. I wasn't never one of these people. Me like, too. I, Same way. I, yeah, I I wasn't never one of these people. Like I have to get out of here. No, I'm I was trying to. People, actually. I, I, me too. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how I can stay here. So I went off to school in Wyoming and shit, and came back. And I just, I knew that, I knew I, did, I, I was in law school, caught cancer three times while I was I trying to. I remember that. I remember seeing you While I was trying to finish my damn law school degree. So I finally said, fuck that. I'm done. I'm going to push dirt. So I hopped on. We started building a, a family business here uh, up at Red Creek. We were talking about that before. Mm-hmm. And um, it, it, it just it just spiraled. And it, it took me on a wild ride. The only thing I, am, I will say that I'm proud of that I did compared to 90% of influencers yep. is when when you go from being like broke to like huge checks, I'm talking about like more money than what you expected to make that year right. per month. P- some people tend to change their lifestyle. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, and they don't even I no- kind of think I would. Well, they I don't really even do. notice that they're doing it is the thing. It's like, <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> you're, you're, I really, being, you're being honest. I'm being yeah. super honest. I'm smart enough to know that like, okay, how much, how long can this last? Mm. How much am I making now? And I definitely don't want to go back to like, going to it like a nine to five I would, Pre, that, would, yeah. that would be my biggest thing. so i gotta invest 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 and that's what i would sure do. I don't lottery like, or, or striking it like you did like on, yeah. on social media i would meet with the guy the accountant or the or how, it's like a mafia thing is mm-hmm. that how it goes yeah, you, you sit there and you're like all right listen i just don't ever want to go back to a nine to five so let's take that chunk put it over put it here else. Mm-hmm. and then after that i'm doing stupid shit well then you do you would do the same thing i did which is what <laughs> which is what i was getting at so you a lot of people change their lifestyle and they, they don't even notice that, that they're doing mm-hmm. it and i i know a bunch of up-and-comers because i get I guess I'm one of the OGs now. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm getting older. You're getting older. I'm like getting that. older. You got back pain yet? Yes. Good. You're old. Wake up in the morning so I can yeah. walk on a fucking rice crispy. Yes. Well, yes. you did play football for a while, so. Uh, yeah, like way too fucking call Ken, Call Kendrick, though, and he'll get you. On <laughs> I'm, I'm all, yeah. he, I just got a package from him yesterday. Did you hear yeah, oh, shit? Yeah, I know Kendrick very well. Oh, oh, dude, we don't bullshit on the show. We got people that we sponsors is in the community. Yeah, right? little yes. Mr. Neck, neck yeah. Tattoo got me some testosterone. He's got oh, neck, yeah. He does. Oh, yeah. I, I love it. Yeah, I tell him he, look, he looks like the hunting badger with that haircut he's got there. We got, he, we got the I, if, I, if, star, I, if I had hair, star, I would have stupid shit. Who like saw Kendrick or Ginger Billy? Kendrick. Kendrick believe is, it or not yeah yeah, yeah by far who can bench really? press more Ooh, kendrick he got tests bro <laughs> <laughs> ginger really i'm don't. sure ginger really got something cool. right. no, Damn. no ginger is like he's one of the people like if you go out or whatever and like i said i've never actually hung out with him like we talk on the phone constantly but yeah. we live in two separate sides and both of our tours are like absolutely yeah. ape shit yep 
but he was telling me he's like yeah man after the show they, they all want to go out and stuff like that and i i, I gotta get back get my fifth meal in i'm like we live different fucking lives yeah yes. yeah <laughs> so we, different we are not the same we're going to waffle house bro come yeah, on yeah, jump yeah. in the truck it's got a smothered cover let's roll yeah, yeah a lot of protein in them eggs no that man be eating like boiled chicken and like the shit called quinoa Oh, oh no, no yeah no, I, no, I, 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 I don't i don't fuck with that no we're not doing quinoa but all them all them new but he's, influencer I'm he's got abs yeah so did liver king um <laughs> but he was liver king was natural though that's yeah that yeah that, it's on the internet that's oh, true no, right? No, right yeah right. But what all these, was it twenty grand a month he was spending on juice like, yeah was some stupid number. yeah that dude was eating like big macs and shit but making bank that'll show yeah. you right there how corrupt social media is and like that that's like what person is gonna sit down in a six million dollar home in a king's throne and have a private chef and be like, you tell you what, you can make anything under the sun, raw balls. Yeah. Bring them, bring them here now. <laughs> right. Nobody's doing that have unless bones. you need the view. Unless you need the view. Yeah, right. so. And that's what I keep telling all these younger influencers stuff like that. I'm like, look, stay true to yourself. Right. What it, dance with what brung you? You know, because like whenever I start, I must start making videos in the truck. That's what I started doing. Yeah. I never deferred from that that is that was the horse that got me there i'm riding that horse till the bitch dies right I, I really am now i have um I, I recently a lot of people don't know this so actually this is like could be my release of it i have um a golfing show coming what yeah a redneck golf show <laughs> that's gonna be the like shit redneck yeah. golf show i have are you good or do you suck no, I have my days. Okay, I, so I, have, you suck. I have my yeah. <laughs> but I, we're doing shit like uh, so you suck. I get it. Yeah, yeah we're doing cool. shit like uh, loser of the hole, uh, shotguns of beer every uh, hole for okay. eighteen now holes. That sounds. That so you sounds play golf like us. Yeah, 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 we're fucking around like yeah. that. Yeah. Do you need stupid extras in your show? Yeah, <laughs> I will. I will feature y'all on an episode. That y'all have my word of that. Uh, uh, I didn't mean to put you on the spot, but no, I'm no, saying, I, we fuck, I would fucking love that. Yeah, I would. We um. I'm actually I'm trying to get together with Bob uh with Bob does sports I don't know if y'all know who that is he's uh, a big YouTube golf thing they they do challenges like they do try to finish 50 tacos in nine holes and still break <laughs> par like type shit oh, God. you know what I'm saying but um so I got a golf show coming redneck golf show coming I'm doing down home cooking like the, uh, a down home cooking show because I do have my own line of spices and uh -huh. I do have my own I have my own barbecue and stuff like that coming out and so I I've always loved to cook. Because growing up, like I thought that steak had to be well done. Oh, that, that, that's just how my grandpa and my dad were. And big, my, big, well, a lot of them older people do that, man. Nah. Like my grandpa was the same way. Bro, big he shout didn't out. want anything blood. If no. it's blood, it ain't done. And it's not even fucking blood. That's what I keep trying to tell my mom. Yeah. But, it's, but we go. We, we, I took her to Morton's. Mm -hmm. Okay, in, in Golden Nugget, which is my favorite steakhouse on the coast, by the way. Shout out Morton's. Right. And um, we went in there and she ordered the Cajun ribeye, USDA like prime ribeye and the guy asked her how would you like to cook she goes extra well done i holy said holy moly <laughs> they're gonna know, bring you a fucking briquette do, yes. you, do you know how hard it is for me to sit at a table when somebody does that and keep my face nor, like not go no, i mean like and then and then oh, i got i got one better now this she asked for ranch to go with it no oh, we're not i, I would I, I'm a1 I, gonna be respectfully, a1. <laughs> respectfully <laughs> i'm leaving this table mm. <laughs> well, see my grandpa's the same way though like when nah. he cooked bacon if it wasn't burnt, he wasn't eating it. Bacon's, Same. Bacon's a little bit different, though. That's tiny. Yeah, they don't cost as much different. as fucking steak. Chick well, chicken, shirt, steak, toast, no, burnt. No, it, no. it ain't no light, night, light brown. It's I honestly think brown. that comes from hardships because if you burn something, it lasts longer. It won't go bad as soon. Maybe. But uh, I'm, uh, uh, big, big shout out to my dad, Frank. He, From the time I can ever remember eating steak as a kid, we would do um, – like do steak and shrimp or something, boil some shrimp. No. We are medium rare all the time. Not us. Blood, he'd be like, hey, you don't Shut worry up. about that. Eat that. It ain't gonna hurt you. I would eat. Blood on yeah. the I would eat uh, hockey pucks. Is what I would. No. Eat. We, you were medium rare my whole hockey life. Puck. My whole life. That, yes. that, that's insane. But I'm see, serious. I, I want to bring like, I want I want to bring enough recipes to the people because I have I have a book that I've been writing in for years, and it's all family recipes and shit that I've learned. Yeah. my own way of doing shit through town and like i was talking i was actually talking to stale cracker about it and justin's a pretty good friend of mine we, we had him on the show yeah he's he, he's a good guy and he um he was telling me he's like man look all that i do is just cook my family recipes and I yeah said, and i but out of respect when i was talking to him i told him I said, look dude, i'm not trying to compete with you man this isn't this isn't a competitive type deal I'm a, is I, big enough for everybody i'm, yeah, I'm a comedy family. yeah and that's exactly what he told me he said he said man it ain't no problem but you do your thing we might even do one together one time that's it. you know that's it. Like, yeah. the audience audiences it, exactly so i got the uh, golfing show and the cooking show coming and then i have my hunting show coming this year because of my uh, my outdoor company you can only sell so many shirts and hats. Right. So I have been for the last since January one, I have been on the phone, me and my entire team with like every importer possible trying to bring 
quality to the outdoors without a quality price tag. Because here's how big business here's how big business works. I'm sure I'm the, go ahead and name your outdoor. That's that is Oh, that's my Bass Bucks and Birds company. Yes. We call it Triple B Outdoors for, yeah. for short. Yes. Okay. And I got a funny story about that and I'll tell you in a second. But the way that big business works in the outdoor industry is this. Every one of them items that you see in Bass Pro Shop, Cabela's, Dick Sporting Goods Academy, they're all made in the same factories. Everyone, there's only oh, for sure. There's only three factories in the entire world that make 100 percent fluorocarbon. Mm-hmm. And they're all identical. It's just what sticker you put on it. Right. right. Here's how they do it. They buy it from the manufacturer. Say they buy it from the manufacturer for a dollar. Say they buy a lure for a dollar. Okay. Well, the manufacturer's got to make it, his money is 100%. So they're going to sell it to the, uh, the distributor for $2. Well, the distributor lives in a million dollar home as well. He's got to make his money. So right. he's going to get 100%. So when he sells it to a dealer, he sells it $4. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then the dealer sells it. He got to make his little percentage to a retailer. Re- and then the retailer probably gets for $7. Well, then by the time it makes it to from the retailer to the consumer, you got a nine dollar crankbait, right? You, 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 all these middlemen, the, all these yeah. middlemen. Yeah. I don't have Justin. You know anything about I, Justin, that? Justin, you should have gone <laughs> over here and sat your ass right over there, just like I told you. But uh, so I don't have to do that with my following. So what I have done is I have partnered up with a guy named Scott, Scott Estes, who owns Denali Rods, and uh, me and him put a collab together and created our own hunting line called Vika, and it's um it's the triple b out his his brand of hunting is vica mine is triple b outdoors so we did a collab on hunting on hunting gear made in the same factory as them that you know what brand i'm mm-hmm. talking about mm-hmm. that has the the really preppy boys where it's very very expensive yes yes it is made in the same factory same material same zipper same cold nature everything theirs is a thousand i'm selling mine for 150 a thousand what Dollars. No, for yes. what though? For what? So, so like, like for their like, like for their hunting, their coveralls, their coveralls, 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 any, their bibs, any of that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. That'll show you the price difference, right? Yeah. In it, and, and it's just it's just a it's just, it's just logo. It's just a logo. Yeah, yeah for sure. I it. wanted to do something for the blue collar working man. That's what I wanted to do. We actually next week we're releasing my golf polo line, and in every one of my polos, no matter what the print is, inside the collar is blue, and it says for the blue collar. Like nice. stitched I into like it, it. <laughs> and, and and they're made in the same exact factory that Foot Joy is made. In. Anybody golf know what yeah, Foot yeah, Joy yeah. is? Yeah, yep. yep. Those are eighty five dollars. All right, mine thirty. Damn, you see what I'm saying? So I yeah. I, I want to be the poor man's Bass Pro Shop. That, right. That, that, right. That, that's what I love that, it. That's what I want to. Not do. like the the four hundred dollar Yeti irons uh cast, cast iron, iron skiff that just came out skillet. you see that yeah right. oh, i would say skiff yeah, yeah, yeah skillets yeah. Yeah. yeah cast iron skiff would probably not float. four hundred dollars they had hundred dollar dog skillet. bowls yeah oh yeah and that, people buy them though. that's what i don't understand they're fucking retarded yeah i'm gonna the go lodge around. same cast iron skillet at the academy is forty dollars yep. mm. and they got that so much they put yeti on it yep. four hundred dollars and yep. people buy it just all day long because it's got yeti on it yeah i don't own any yeti products i'm not against yeti i think they did a, some they were the first ones to to revolutionize or upgrade the cooler game, They right? were the first person that got pissed off that the beer was hot. It's what they did. Here's my thing. I'm an igloo guy, and I'll tell you why. Yeah, the, the, hen- nah, the hinges break. The hinges igloos, break. Man. But that's what I grew up on. I don't You're right. Well, and, yeah. and it, I was always, You're staying true to the game. Yeah, I'm staying true to the game. And I don't need <laughs> the ice to last for 47 days. You know how long I need well, it to last man. for? About six hours. Mm-hmm. And after that, it's your own damn fault. You should drink the beer faster. Let, let, me, let me ask you this, though. Yep. I want dead honesty. Yep. If you had a cooler that no matter how hot it is, you could leave it in the sun, don't have to put it in the yep. shade, like a Yeti. Yes. That you put your beer in. Yes. But instead of costing four hundred dollars, that exact same one with a different sticker on it costs you a hundred dollars. Would you buy it? The thing about that is, is that's why I buy Arctic a lot. They are a little bit cheaper and they kind of got the same thing. I think Yeti's still a little ahead of them in the game. Well, you, Jared would have to catch a fish to put in a cooler. Also true. <laughs> also true. <laughs> but but I will say this: what I don't like about that is though you got a what a fifty something quart ice chest, you know, mm-hmm. and the the space to put your beer in is like this. Hundred percent. And I you're like right. That. You're right. You're right. But I use oh. mine. I stand on mine. I throw mine. Oh, they're tough. Place, I mean, yeah. but I'm I'm developing my own is what I was getting at. Like, you're, you're you're doing doing I, yeah, yeah. we have our we have everything that you could possibly think outdoor wise, we have in the works. And that's the thing about it is, is it does not happen overnight. And that's no. what people oh, want yeah. from me. But right now, what people want from me is hats and my triple B shirts because I can't keep them in stock. I, I cannot keep them in stock. And like this year, we um I got a message from old boy, little kid who all he wanted to do was kill a deer. That's all that's all he wanted to yeah. do. And he was he was disabled and didn't know if he was ever gonna have the chance to kill one. So I went it was like one o'clock in the morning. I remember I rode down to the warehouse in Wool Market and I'm just standing there looking at my wall of merchandise and I'm like, what can I sell 
to help me raise money to take this to take this kid to go on a hunt of a lifetime. Right. right. And it was like as soon as I said hunt of a lifetime, something clicked in my brain and it was like sell it all. And that's what I did. I ran a like a 40 percent off sale of my entire site. Yeah. And I did a, <clears throat> a, a hunt of a lifetime box where you would get a hunt, over a hundred dollars worth of merchandise for 40 bucks. And we sold so many of them that I, I could not have rubbed two T-shirts together like this right here. But with well, I'm able to send him to Northwest Missouri Outfitters this year. I'm actually going with him to go kill his first deer. Okay. That'd be cool. It's, yeah, I'm going to film it. I'm going to put it on my YouTube. wheelchair. I didn't get into the specifics okay. because I didn't feel like it was necessary to ask. Right, 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 yeah, right. That that was just me. He told me he was disabled. It was how'd you meet him? Like, it, you no, know, he he actually wrote me a Facebook message. Okay, and, and okay. which was really weird for me because I never checked my message. I was gonna say, how the hell did he get through? How did he cut through the noise? I really hate those red icons on my messenger. Uh, yeah, understood. So it's like, still, whenever, yeah. whenever, and I woke up, give me some water, and it was like one, it was like twelve o'clock, and I just looked at my phone, I had that red icon, and I clicked it, and it was the, the kid's picture and yeah. he um and, and the first one said hey mr zach i don't want anything from you and i was like well that's fucking new right yeah. that's right, new right, right let's right. take a look at this so i clicked on it and by the time i got done with the three paragraph thing i was like bawling crying right so, I, so i'm like trying to find my fucking keys and i can't i can't see out of my eyes because i'm like watering up and shit like that but it just happened to it just happened to be that's when i checked my messages i get sixteen thousand messages a day <sighs> a day and, and so anybody out there writes me, I, I'm sorry. I, yeah. I, I'm not ignoring you. I don't get them. Right. I just, I just, How the hell could you? Exactly. But I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's been good. And then lastly, I have my fishing show coming out and that's when uh, I have my own rods that'll be here tomorrow. I have my own lures. I have, and I'm catering first off to the coastal stuff. So I'm doing, uh, obvi obviously my bass rods and my spectrum rods and stuff like that. I'm not getting into reels cause I don't have the know-how to get into reels. Right. So I'm waiting on Gerald to, uh, Gerald Swindle to retire. And then he's going to come on board and help me with the reels. That's the, that's the best master elite series. Uh, good, good friend of mine. Yeah. But I'm making, uh, G man, G the G, G man. That's right. Um, I'm making lures. I'm making all the, all these things are here, but I'm catering them to our, as far as coastal like patterns and stuff like that, like I'm making like baby speckle trout and like if anybody who bass fishes know the hottest color to ever touch a hard bait in Biloxi, shoot it above Pascal, it doesn't matter. It's, it's called hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. That's the color. So I've made like 3,000 of those and I've got them all in the warehouse and stuff like that, but I'm just waiting to get them critiqued and all that type of shit. Yeah. Uh, let's hit the comments real quick because we had, we had, we they flooded in and we did. Sorry, for everybody, that there's a little delayed on, <clears throat> on us reading them out, but. Uh, uh, Seth Whittington said he'll be there Saturday. Uh, Todd, when your story you were telling, I think about the beginning of your videos about how you got started. He said this was legendary. Uh, Splash Match said their two favorite posts was neighbor kid asked to paint your fence yep. and teaches someone about character of a man that returned his shopping cart. I'm big on shopping cart return. I, I, that, I, that, that, that. I don't, me I don't know why that bothers me, me so neither, much, but, but it, it's such a, it's such a simple gesture to help someone else out. And at the same time, it costs you nothing. Do you know what yes. I, you know what it goes through my head every single time? Socialism, right? Yeah. Everybody wants socialism, socialism, this socialism, that. And then I look in the parking lot and I go, this is the prime example of why it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. and it'll never work until every one of these carts on their own end up in that return. Day. That's right. Or you get the 40 mile an hour blast that we had today and all the carts hit your truck and it's just you who gets the truck. Yeah, but that's my point. <laughs> Why were those carts in there? Because some asshole just went. Yep. Yeah. That's me. And see, I'm also one of these people that I, I drive a bigger truck. I drive 2,500. I'm not parking between two people. I would rather walk from the interstate than to like, cause my truck's so big. I have enough, back 40. That's it. Right. I, have, I have enough courtesy to know that if I pull in there, they're not getting in their vehicles. Right. Yeah. right you know what right, I'm saying? Right. I'm just, who it, the fuck paints those lines? That's what I want to know. Who, who did, who did smart that? Cars. Yeah, yeah exactly. Tesla. Elon. Exactly. Elon painted all of them. Um, here we got a couple more. Uh, let's see. Wait, 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 wait. I sent him. Okay. Uh, Seth, <clears throat> Seth Winnington said that he sent you three messages trying to get you to join Neptune. That's a good one. That is a good one. <laughs> it is a good one. He said, uh, might as well do, know, do it. We're do in you it. know, do you know a Mary, Mary Bland, Arnold, Bog, bog? She does the bow show, Miss Mary. Oh, Miss Mary. Oh, okay. Miss yeah, Mary. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I got you. She did the bow show. I didn't recognize it from. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. She said, "Are y'all blinded by the Mister Mister T starter kit?" She's she's getting you on that one. <laughs> I told her that while yeah. we were there. Well, I said, "I'm starting by Mister T yeah. starter she, kit." She yeah. hit you with the smiley face. You wait till I get my tennis one with my diamond. It was yeah. it was all in good fun. Miss uh, Mary. Uh, Douglas, uh, he's he's uh, comments a lot. Douglas uh, Patrick said that. Uh, he definitely wants to drink a beer with you. And I think down here he said something about, or up here about, anytime you want to go fishing, 
You say that? Somebody said that. Who said that? I anyway, know. I'm sure. Anytime you do a fishing, yeah, right. Um, well, y'all do y'all do a little fishing yourself, right? Yeah, well, I own a charter business out of Biloxi. That yeah, was the next question. Yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah. was the special needs fishing charters? How's that going? It, it, it's going pretty well. We, I mean, we're down for maintenance right now. We had to replace some seals and lower units and stuff like that. But Always. We actually, I, I picked them up today, and it's going back on the blackjack. Uh, when I started that, it was one of them things where. I'll be dead ass honest with y'all, man. I've been so blessed. I don't deserve the life that I live. I, I, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I don't. I'm not that special. I'm really not. I mean, y'all, we're we're all friends. You know what I'm saying? But like, you couldn't pick me out of a police lineup six years ago. No, there was nothing special about me. All I did was just stay true to myself, which is all anybody has to do. But when I started that damn charter business, I really wanted to give the people who were like. I want to go fishing. I really want to go fishing, but I don't want to book a charter because it's going to be a hassle on the captain and I'm handicapped or I'm in a wheelchair or I got special needs kid that might need extra assistance or something like that. And there wasn't one out there like that. So right. whenever, <clears throat> whenever I started, I wanted to make a charter. I will take anybody able body out as well. Yeah. But if you, um, if you do have a disability, if you have a child with a disability or if you're a veteran of this country yeah. in any branch of the government at all, we will give you a significant discount. So when I say significant, I'm like almost losing money, but it gives, it gives them a chance to go out and experience the stuff that we take for granted. I mean, how many times have y'all ran out, grabbed your boat, went down there, caught you a load of fish, come back, fried them up. If they, and it, it, you felt like you deserve that. We don't deserve right. what, what we go through. Right. And, and it, it, I'm not the most humble person, but I get gut checked a lot, especially seeing the people on tour and stuff like that, that I do that are going through trials and tribulations every day that they don't deserve. Yeah. And they come talk to you like after the show. And yeah, uh, they always have a meet and greet. And I feel bad, but by contract of my company, I have to charge for a meet and greet because it, it prolongs the show. It prolongs uh, the time in the building. Yeah, the time in the building yeah, and everything. Yeah. So I have to pay for that. It doesn't cost <laughs> anything to meet me, but at the same time, I have to pay the venue for the lights and power right, and right, sound right, right. and security and all that shit. But I mean, just it, it's like the most rewarding feeling in the world whenever you can you wake up. I've done it a couple of times and my captain will call me like, hey, look, man, I got a special needs dude that's coming, or I got a veteran coming on the boat tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Can can you come hop on with us? And I, I told him last time, I said, man, I can't. I can't yeah, I've got dang. tax meetings in the morning. What time are y'all coming back in? He said, I'll text you when we hit Horn Island. I said, okay, sounds good. So, mm -hmm. uh, so whenever he texted me, I went down there and I met the dude, and he was a veteran who had lost, you know, sens sensation in his legs and stuff like right. that. And it was like the biggest thing ever. I helped pick his wheelchair up. We took pictures and bullshit, and I signed his hat and everything. It it, it was it was a great thing, and I just don't know anybody else doing that. Right. Not saying that if you were to call any other charter on the coast and say, "Hey, look, I got a special needs kid," are they going to do it? <clears throat> Probably. Probably. Yeah. Are they Are they going to give you a huge discount? Mm -hmm. No. If, yeah. if anything, it's going to be an upcharge because they have to pay another deck hand to, to handle that. Well, but like you said, you've been blessed. You can do that. These yeah. other guys are out there blue collar grinding it. So they, they're grind, and I right. respect the right. grind. Right. I do, but I'm trying to give back. Like, I don't make shit off my damn charter business. I bought that one thing. Worst thing uh, for a boat to do is sit. Yep. That's it. Worst thing for a boat to do is sit. This way, somebody gets some enjoyment out of it, even if I'm not there, and maybe I can make help somebody make a memory that they'll remember for a long time. Well, you got to teach Hunter how to fish first. <laughs> <laughs> I got to I got to teach Hunter a lot of shit. He, he's, he's a good little captain. He is. He he does he does a really good job. I've had zero complaints and and multiple uh, compliments on him. People when they're done with the with the trip, they'll call me and say, "Look, he was so understanding about it, the the needs of our of our friend or whatever." And that right. that, that means more to me. That gave him tenure. Yeah. yeah, right there. Like he, yeah. I told him, say you can't get fired. You can quit, but you can't get fired. <laughs> We're gonna bring you back. Yeah, yeah. The veteran thing's huge. We had uh, tackle twenty two that's been on here. Have you heard about them? Uh, uh. So it's they what they do. It's it's twenty two bets a week, right? A day. A day? It's it's the, the math. The math. Yeah, I keep down. doing. Yeah, I, I, that's I, what I heard. So I I one that, of right? the uh, uh, Derek Calendar is one of the big guys down here, and they they bring vets fishing all the time. So that's it's fantastic. Like, did, Where's he based out of? Not Derek, but the guy who started it. Uh, we had him digitally on North the show. Carolina, South that's Carolina, what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah. like that. So he was like, got tired of hearing the statistics, and he's like, I'm gonna do something to help combat this. Right. And he had a situation in his life where he was going to end his life. Uh huh. But somebody called he him up to go fishing, fishing. Yeah. and it was like boom, right? So it's it's exactly what you're doing. You're doing like disabled individuals, total or vets. He's talking mental health and for I, vets, and he's taking them out going fishing. So yeah. we did our fishing tournament. Yeah, we did our um, the hardhead uh, bay rat bash, bay rat bash, mm -hmm. and we let all the vets fish for free. That's fantastic. Through that, through tackle twenty two, correct? So Correct. it's like Derek, you know, Derek gets all his guys in. 
uh, Wicked Fish donated where y'all were at. Yeah, uh, on Fort yeah, Knot, yeah. donated a reel. So uh, biggest vet fish won a reel. Everything it was a vet. And, it was a great time. And see, if people think you got to try to change the world and reinvent the wheel, you, you don't. don't ha- you don't have to. One random act of kindness can change anybody's perspective on this earth. I always said that the um. My only purpose on this earth was to, when I die, for somebody to remember my name. Yeah, that, it, one. It, that's it. Because here's the thing: for something it, good that you did. That's it. it thing, yeah, it, it's like it's like that Hardy song, "A Rock." You um, sooner or later, we're all going to be under one. All, the only thing there is your name. And if <laughs> if I've affected somebody in a positive way to where even when I'm dead and gone and forgotten, if somebody says, "You know what? That old Zach Russian boy, he was Ice. all right." Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was Zach Russell. That's my daughter's lunchbox. I was lunch going to say, that's not that's my, my daughter's cool. lunchbox. That I got my cool. I'm, I'm, it up. I'm a big fan of pineapples, but I can't turn this upside down. <laughs> Don't turn it upside down. Yeah. Oh, shit. But no, you're right. You're right. How big a fan of Hardy are you? Humongous Hardy, fan. Huge. God, huge. dog. Okay, so I, God, was, I was trying to link up with Hardy uh, on the come up, right? Uh, like, Anybody from Mississippi, I'm gonna support. Yeah. Sure. Anybody from Mississippi, because we ain't got a whole lot of good shit that goes on here. We're like, <laughs> no, I think no, we're dead no. last and everything except obesity. We're be, kicking yeah. ass. We, <laughs> us in West Virginia, I had to look that up the other day. We go back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. As, yeah. Long, as long as we got Cajuns and hearts, we're we're, yes. we're, we're, we're we got good. obesity and diabetes. Yeah. Locked down. Yeah. Yeah. That shit is on lock. <laughs> yes, we got you. But it um no it, it's it's I, I I was trying to get with him on um uh, on the come up because I was like Mississippi boy and I actually I popped before he did. Yep. As far as social media wise goes, I can't sing for shit. Yeah, Zero. Right. Uh, but he, he, but he can. He got a little bit faster car than what I got on the way to success. But, but like we just started at different times. Yeah. It was like I was running with my feet and he used Usain Bolt's. Yes. Yeah. You know yes. what I mean? Yes. But the power I, of he music. beats you in the floor. The power of music. Well, he he was a song. He's a way like most oh, no, of no, the no, songs no. you hear on the radio. Yeah. Are uh, he, he wrote Old Red for Blake Shelton. Yeah, so like he's yeah. been in the game uh, forever. Was it Old Red or was it God's Country? I, I know. He wrote I know. God's I know. Country. He wrote God's Country. I yes. thought he wrote Old Red. Too. I think yeah. that was too soon in his in Blake Shelton's career. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I love it because he throws that old school metal back into rock and roll. Oh, like, when I listen to radio song. I like to wreck my fucking truck the me, first time I listen. I, to yeah, yeah. I was texting Robbie. I was like, dude, he was talking about the song. I'm like, do you not understand how cool this is? I'm like, he's making fun of himself. He's making fun of the fact that this is what they want me to sing. Correct. Yes. And I told them no, so now here. Yo, he's coming to the Coliseum. No, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we just, I just saw him in Vaughn Hemingway Stadium up at you Old saw him with, uh, I was blown away with, uh, with, with Morgan Wallen. Yeah. Yeah. The, the yeah. night that it uh, did happen, not the night that it didn't. Okay, I got <laughs> you. First. I couldn't believe it. I was like, dude, I went to Ole Miss in 2003 to four. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, Eli's senior year. To have the stadium up there – Listening, it, these dudes were playing PRSs, drop tuned, and he was screaming. I know. I was, I was like in the back, like this. Just, and, and all these, all the girls, all the girls, all the girls, girls and yeah, they're, they're, and like, they're like, yeah, suits, I like, I'm like, no, you don't understand. I was, I was blown away. I was like, he's my hero. He's my hero. He, he he's a fantastic artist, and he stayed true to his roots. Yes. Anybody ever ask him where he's from? He never, he never defers from it, Mississippi. Yeah. And um, like the Morgan Wallen thing that went down and everything like that. Look, I I know a lot of people say, oh, you know, he should have done this, he should have done that, this that, and the other. Nobody knows what it's like to be on tour. No, like, like, no. Like, especially as a singer. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm not a vocalist, but I, I do make a living with my words and stuff like that. And I don't tour near as much as what he does, y'all. And I like Saturday night in uh, Arlington, Texas. Last Saturday, I was in Arlington, and I'm in the green room, right? And I am like, I got like ice packs on my neck from running around and riding and shit like that. And my voice is cracking, and my girl's giving me damn. Cough drops, trying to keep my voice just yeah. for just for an hour. Yes. Right? You know, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, imagine I screaming. Yeah, I, I, exactly. And I'm, I'm like, I'm popping fucking Adderall, trying to shit, trying trying to like get my shit going, drinking Red Bulls, and it's horrible for me. Yep. But here's the thing: these people paid for a show, Correct. good money. They're gonna get the same show with the same energy as the people in Abilene on Thursday night, guys. Right. Just because I'm on a three day run, right. And I'm exhausted. That doesn't affect the fact that you're going to get the same show. Rather, if I die on stage, it's going to be because you're. I'm trying to give you the same show. Yeah. Don't you think that to me? Like I think of like Sam Kennison and all those guys. Like that's probably how it starts. And then yeah. the next thing you know, you're like way off. Yeah. Like, no, I, I, I'm not going yeah, way. I got, I, got, I got way too much to lose to go way no, off, way off the you, grid. I get you, I get you. But I, I do understand the fact of needing a break. But I I wasn't there. I'm not in the loop. I don't know what Morgan did, didn't do, whatever. I know it, what I would have done. Yeah, but if <laughs> well, he that's, just, why, that's he, why I wasn't judging. He him. just got back. Yeah, from, it, from what I heard, he just got the doctor okay to start rolling yeah. back. If out he uh, if he needed a break, 
say you need a damn let him get a break yeah because yeah. that's it, what it does suck though i get the fans perspective like you just 100%, said like, the, the because it, it costs money correct and it, it, time off and excitement it, and, blah, and people spend money merchandise and stuff like that like i will literally army crawl on the stage mm-hmm. on my deathbed before i sent out before i just cancel a show. i hope you don't have anywhere to go because i got like a shit ton of stuff to unpack still that we haven't got no to. no go ahead i'm sorry i'm no, a rambler no no I'm, I'm piggybacking on what you just said okay, yeah. how did you take it from how did you take it from doing snapchat videos then in the Facebook videos, which obviously, you know, like, oh, it's working. You had, you know, uh, yeah. confirmation yeah. confirmation that it's working. Yeah. How did you take it from that? I always wonder about this from, from the, like, social media people to on the stage. How do you transition from I'm driving down the road, which I'm assuming this is how you do it. Something hits you. Uh, you're like, Rant, pull over. And you're like, da, 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 you know, then to taking that into a. Up next, Zach rushing. Yeah. You walk up on stage, you're like, be people, funny now, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> people how are you cheering at you. Yeah. Be throwing, funny now, asshole. Throwing shoes yeah. at you. How do you do that? So I've been, That's my question. I've been told that I'm a story, uh, that I'm a good storyteller. And, okay. and all, all of my all my videos, if I'm not yelling about something, it's probably, it's probably, it's probably a fucking story. Right, yeah. But at the same time, uh, in order for me to post a video to any social media, this is how it works. I make the video. All right, I send it in to my manager. But it's a management team. I know none of these motherfuckers' names. None of them. Seriously? Yeah, you know, none of them. Uh, you have to send it to this website. Okay, so you send it into this email. You have to wait however long they until they decide to watch the motherfucker. They trim it. They bleep it. They edit it. Okay, and then they send it back to you, and you have to post that version or you post nothing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now This I is you now? This is me now. That sounds a little corporate. A, a little bit. Huh. Yeah, but at the same time, it makes getting on stage very easy because I have made countless videos that like about, like like about my little nephew and about experiences and lessons that i've learned and stuff like that which they're hilarious but they're happening to me so i'm mad about the shit right right, right. and i've made the video in the heat of the moment right and then i'll send it in and they literally reply back no yeah. so every that's right well hell but i did not, I did not, well, yeah. but I did not expect that answer though yes, why, why, why that though that you know because i've been in facebook jail like nice six times <laughs> okay all right there was <laughs> I, okay. i'm on thank you i am thank on you. a permanent thank probation thank they'd you. rather have him on and censored right, right. <laughs> that's not it. there at all right. exactly so now my entire show which none of the stuff in my show will you ever hear on social media because it's already been denied so you're getting a completely uh, okay. you're getting a completely different okay. Uh, stories and 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 all the and comedy and all this shit, but it's very easy to come up with material because I literally just whatever they want to let me put on social media, I know I can say it on fucking stage, right? And that's what that's what a lot of people come to me after because I have a huge following about my little nephew, right? My little nephew videos are some of my most when he was selling Disney Plus to everybody and it, it like slinging that shit around like dope around second grade, right, like right. That. And um, but I have like I think actually this Saturday, yeah, I got four stories that I opened the show with this Saturday of little nephew stories that nobody's ever heard and won't, won't make social media. So, so that's, that's your thing. Like you got the stories in your head. I'm going to go up and tell these stories because you lived them. And it's your life. So, yeah. you know, well, yeah. I, I judge by off of, um, <laughs> off of location. Like I, I could go up, like I have a hilarious story about a shrimp boat that I bought and, um, <laughs> I'm not telling it because I'm telling it. Yeah. Tomorrow yeah, yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, I can tell that here. But, but, up, up but, north, but, but if I'm in like New York, right, they're like, right. what the fuck is a shrimp, shrimp boat? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not yeah. explaining to you what a pick and rake is. You know, you know right, what I'm saying? I'm, right. I'm just not. Right. So I, I judge it by that. But I have so many, man. Like, like on my phone here, I've probably got nine and a half hours of material for stage. Is this videos with the you, you know it? No. Note it? No. No, yeah, I'm, a, I'm just going to give y'all a So quick. it's like a bullet, like a nephew story put, about put Jared's, Disney. Bro. See if Jared's face will do your facial recognition. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> My nose will throw it It's off. literally called video ideas. Yeah. And I just want to show y'all. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a lot of people that can't on the audio. Yeah, it's a lot. It's, it's a, a lot. lot. It's Whoa. I mean, it, it's it, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, and it's, it's it's just experiences that uh, that I've had that have taught me. Like, I never branded myself a comic. I've always said I was a motivational comic because I can find funniness in anything in this fucking world but it always i should always try to leave you with a little bit of a lesson did you do that in junior high high school college ball what? football what just say random funny shit like that like, oh yeah 100%. Yeah, 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 100%. yeah yeah well yeah. i was i was i went to school in wyoming so like like i went way out west because they were giving me a scholarship through law school so when i went out there i remember the first time i sat down in my meeting room with my coach right and i'm sitting in there and i come from a junior college so they had me on in the starting lineup they already knew what, what was going to happen mm. so i went in there and uh, coach caligus was his name he said all right russian if this corner bails out, okay, you got a corner crash coming from the other side. I need you to molly this way and pick him up. 
repeat back to me what I just said. I said, yeah, if that somebody right there runs yonder, I'm going to go over there and just knock the motherfucker out. And he just looked at me like he had no fucking idea right, what I just said. Right, right, right. And, and like everybody. Press in the, one for English. Yeah, right. <laughs> everybody in the meeting room was just standing there like, son of a bitch. Who, fuck did he just. Who, how did he get into this country school? ass get yeah. a scholarship? Yeah. 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 yeah, but I mean, it, it's, I, 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 I really don't know. I don't understand why they, it's, it's better for me to send my videos in and get them edited and shit like that before I just up and post one. Right. And all when did you start that? The, 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 that started no, uh, November of 21. I was going to say, cause I still remember like you coming on a video and be like, all right, just got out of Facebook jail. Damn it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I haven't ever since I started doing that, it's like a bylaw thing. They can't put me in Facebook jail. There's no way they can. I can say whatever I want to. But they've edited all the but they, they went through the Ten Commandments of Zuckerberg. Right. That's right. right. Said, hey, right. Yeah, and they good. censored it, right? right? Right. So my tour this year is called Censor This. Yes. You know what yes. I'm saying? Yes. So I, I'm, I, I'm literally giving and them see, a fuck you. I'm yeah. totally okay with censorship as long as the message still gets across. Meaning, if I got to bleep a cuss word, I actually think bleeped cuss words are funnier than saying the cuss word. I've always thought that. Not me. You don't think so? Hell no, I like saying fuck. I, yeah, on South Park, that's though, funny. Though. No, I know, but when it was like, oh, I don't yeah. know. I just thought it was funny. That's you, just you, me you like sounds. That's why, you, that's why you're That's why you on the soundboard. I'm doing all that's this. Right. I got yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but, yeah. <laughs> right. Or like the old school uh, Motown songs when they talk about sex, but they didn't ever say sex. Yeah, like I, I, Cardi I know. B today. You know what I'm saying? Like, get the message across. Yeah. But it's still play. funny to say fuck. It is. I, I fucking love it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. I, I was going to ask about how you did that, how you go from the videos to the show and how you get all the stuff ready in the back of your head. I mean, do you go through the warm up on your phone and say, I, I, pick three or four and then roll it or no, you, just, you feel the vibe of the room no i don't have a set list the, yeah. the reason i'm starting with four uh little nephew stories saturday night is because someone literally messaged the office like my my triple b office and said hey come into the show in biloxi can you please tell zach to tell some little nephew stories i said well you fucking want it it's like burger king we can have it your here way it is. Here, so, here, here you go somebody said earlier zach i want to take a picture from the stage lol you know what i'm talking about does that mean anything Take a picture from the stage. Yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't know if that was like an inside one of your video inside. Yeah, no, I, no, I don't know. No. Okay. All right. Uh, not that I know. Security. <laughs> yeah. Security. <laughs> Cut. Cut. Yeah, yeah. We're out of here. Yeah. Uh, no. So you just you just go. You just wing I, it. I just go. Like it, I can get up there and I can tell. Uh, you know, walk out on stage and tell one little nephew story. If they laugh at that one, I tell another one. Right. After I get tired of telling them, I go on something else. So so do you. Uh, somebody I, like i listen to like rogan and them they talk about yeah. comedy all the time and then, all right turn your audio off right now if you're at work or whatever if you already haven't but they say like bombing on stage is like sucking a thousand you know what's in front of your mom <laughs> that's what they <laughs> compared it to that's yeah. not my quote that's yeah. theirs have you bombed on stage yet and is it the same uh, is it the same feeling <laughs> <laughs> never heard that i didn't come yeah. up with that no that's damn joe even, rogan joe that, 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 that yeah. damn joe he rogan. said that you can look it up fucking joe's yeah, yeah. Uh, a thousand not one. No, no it only takes one. <laughs> but uh, but think about the what I can't do the math. I did math earlier. How many more after one is is a thousand? Nine hundred ninety nine point yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot more. No, so as far as bombing on stage goes, so um, when I first started, I had no intention at all of getting into stand up. Zero. I was perfectly fine doing my shit. I got a call from my buddy out of Alabama, Dustin Sims, and uh, I had just linked up with him because in our business, it's always good to have somebody on your team that you can bounce ideas off of because he may have a video idea that doesn't fit his brand, but he'll right, call right, me about it. Right, right. And I've done that to him countless times because there's a lot of shit that it just it, – I, I, it come out too nice. I don't want to be nice. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I, I don't. So I'll hit him up. But he called me up and said, hey, man, look, I got a show in Baton Rouge that my agent booked me on Thursday night. Look, tickets are low. You got anything going on? I said, no, nah, I ain't got shit going on. He goes, you ever done stand-up? I said, no. Nope. Nah. He said, you want to come do it? I said, we'll see if I can sell a ticket. And I, like, grabbed my phone real quick, made the video, sent it in, got it approved. Didn't even say a cuss word in the video. Right. And just said, hey, y'all, next, next Thursday night, they think about letting me get on stage. Anybody in Baton Rouge want a ticket? Y'all go buy them right here. Let's see if we can make this happen. And it was, like, three minutes. <laughs> three yeah. minutes, they were gone. Like, it was, like, 200 tickets gone in, like, yeah. three minutes. And Dustin called me was like, dude. Because it's like, hey, uh, this yeah. show's canceled, bro. Don't show up. <laughs> He's, like, the most humble person ever. But he um, he called me and was like, dude, we're done. Like, we, we don't have any more tickets. I said, fuck yeah, let's do it. So we went over there, and I traveled with him and Jesse Payton, which is a, a real comedian out of, like, he doesn't have social media problems. He is a real 
comedian right. from Houston. Right. And uh, he's, been, he's been in the game like 13 years. Yeah. He, 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 Road he, Warrior. Dude is just, he does that he does uh two hundred shows a year. Two. I mean I mean he he is he, he's a grinder. Yeah. But I went over there and Jesse went first and then they were like, All right, Zach, you know, it's Dustin's show. We're gonna give you the two slot. I was like, I don't give a fuck if I even, I already got paid. I really don't give a shit. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Yeah. You could cut me. Yeah. You could cut me. <laughs> yeah, cut me and my uncle Ronnie were getting fucking plastered in the green room because we had a bar they gave us a bar tab. Horrible decision on their part, okay? <laughs> and yeah. then but then I went up there and did my show and stuff like that and I did I it, they laughed really, really hard. Well, now this is your first performance. This is my first performance. Is this your first time on stage? No, I had done other performances and stuff like that. High but, school plays. What are we talking? Yeah, about? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but I, like in two thousand nineteen, <laughs> right? Two thousand nineteen before COVID, I had like one little bumfuck place in Bonterre, Missouri, that wanted me to come do a comedy show. So I went up there, and it was like a forty-five minute show. I went up there and did it. That's it was, a long time. No, I do. I do hour and a half. I was right? going to ask oh, that earlier. Yeah, 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 I do yeah, an hour yeah, and a half yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, and I am very capable of doing three fucking hours. Oh. <laughs> But it, but I went up there and did it when I come back, but I hadn't done it like since before, prior COVID, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. So when I went over there and then I come backstage and we had my triple B booth set up with all my merchandise and stuff out there where my mom was running it because it was kind of a throw together thing. So I was like, I need to go check on my mom. So I, I walked out like through the crowd and like, this is Dustin's show. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not going to worry about me. Mom. I made it to the booth and turned around and the entire place is like, <laughs> yeah, you sold the 200 tickets. I, I, I didn't <laughs> think about that <laughs> at the time, say, yeah. but like they they were like crowded around me and Jesse. Sign come, my butt crack. Yeah, but I've done that. Yeah, uh, yeah. But like Jesse comes up to me and Jesse's like five five, and it's the first time he's ever met me. He's like, "Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Can you please go backstage so somebody will watch Dustin's show?" <laughs> I was like, "I'm so. I felt so. I have apologized. Yeah, I'm new. To, yeah, I'm yeah, new. Yeah, I, don't I have apologized yeah. to Dustin a thousand times for that, but he yeah. he really didn't care. He already had their money. Yeah, but but." Ever since then, as far as bombing on stage, I never have because I sell my own tickets. Not like I'm, if I went to like an open mic night where nobody knew right, me, I right, would fucking right, die. Right, right. Like they would right. boo me out you, of the. You county. brought your. You have You're your bringing own your own audience. Yeah, I'm bringing sense. my own audience, yeah, to, yeah, yeah. And, and I don't. I don't. Dif, like I don't differ from what they expect. Correct. Like they are expecting to hear rants. They're expecting to hear stories. They're expecting to get me to get it's mad. A good insight. Them. I didn't think about it. Like Is that. it so? I, I have. I haven't bombed it. The worst show I've ever had. Um, was in where were we? We were in the Vixen in uh, Illinois, McHenry, Illinois. This was like a month ago, right? So I'm up there. And we're on Lake Michigan, and we did Indiana on Friday night, and then we're headed up to uh, Illinois the next night. And we stopped by this badass fucking like right on the side of Lake Michigan, this badass bar, and they've got like bands playing, and there's like six thousand people there. And we go in there, and I'm like, this is fucking great, mm. yeah. And I was like, I'm not going to eat nothing real heavy. Tell you what, just give me some fish tacos, right? And I'm like, I'm right here by the lake, right? This is going to be fine. I've never had a deep fried fish taco before, uh -huh. but I thought it was going to be grilled. So when it came, I was like, look, we only got like two hours before we got to go set up merch anyway. Let me go ahead and just smash these real quick and we'll go. I made it to like the truck before I started throwing up. <laughs> I had the worst yeah. food poisoning you've ever had in your Damn. life, and like it was that Indian halibut they they sold. I don't know what the fuck it was, but it, it made Long John Silver's look like it was fresh catch. It wasn't specs. Right. I can assure you that <laughs> shit. Okay, and so like I'm backstage, and my girl's bringing me like like wet paper towels, put on my face, uh, and like and like down to me with tums and Pepto and, and everything. <laughs> and she's an ICU nurse, so she knows all this shit, like how much yeah. I can have before I die. Right. Right. So, and like Give I said, another one. like I said, I will die. We're going to we have to plug this yeah. one. <laughs> I'm not I, like, I wasn't canceling the show. It was not happening. I would have sat on the toilet, shitting my brains out right. on stage. Well, stage. Well, a five yeah, gallon yeah, bucket. They'd have yeah, loved it. They yeah. fucking loved it. Right? Loved it. I, I, I'd be way more famous for sure. But I went on stage and I guess adrenaline just kicked in. Right. And then when I walked off stage, Dustin was in the green room and I opened the door to the green room and I just game over face yep. planted yep. in yep. the middle of the green room. I like I, I come to and Dustin's like pouring like cold beer in my face and wake the fuck up. You got meet and greets. Yeah. I'm Dehydrated like, shit. I, I, I'm, I'm done. But no, yeah. I, I've, I've never bombed. Uh, yeah. So that was the worst one. But it's still yeah. they still got. Oh, no, no. Like, like we, we had a huge merch night that night after the show is uh, how I judge how I did. So, like, before the show, when people come in, which I have so much Triple B merchandise right now and, and Zach Russian merchandise for uh, for tour, that, like, by the time like, people come in, most of them go grab it. Mm -hmm. The people who don't go grab it, after they hear the special that I'm running and what I'm doing with the money that I sell from these tours, uh, then they go buy it. Right. And I told them if they, if they liked it or whatever, if you go and you, you buy this one item, mm -hmm. it's a, it's, I think there's like 25 of them in the nation now. But if you buy this one item, 
then you get a meet and greet with me, you know, access my social media. We're going we're gonna to talk. Basically, we become friends because you invested enough in me right. by buying this one item. Like an NFT or something? Yeah, you Is got it... kind of like a kind of like an NFT. It's, it a, it, like. it's a, I don't want to give it away because it's a show, but it's something that I wear on stage. Okay, okay. So if they if they buy. It's a brown water hat. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> we figured it out. It's a brown show. water hat. So if you go buy a brown water yeah, hat right yeah, now, you yeah, get all yeah, Talk about right. a fucking plug. <laughs> hey, right? This one right here is badass. Marketing That's team. Good. He don't say a lot smart all the time, but when he does, it's yeah, out there. Yeah. It's, it's actually this hat right here. If you go buy it right now. Yeah. You buy that. He's a home run friends. hitter, bro. He's a home run hitter. He's swung for the fences. I dig it, though. Every time. But now, if somebody buys that that one item that I wear on stage, or whatever, it, it shows me enough about their character and that they believe in me to where I need to be friends with this person. Yeah. So like that, that that's that's one thing. I get twenty five friends around the nation now. There's twenty <laughs> there's twenty there's twenty five of them that have bought it at a show, and everyone that I sell that item, I know for a fact I had a good show because I touched somebody. I made awesome. a difference. To somebody. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's does, good. It, does the humor translate uh, even up north? Oh yeah, they think I'm a novelty item up there. Like you go up there and you just say some bitch and yeah, they're, and, and yeah. they're, they're like, oh my god, Jed Clampett's here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. it's uh, no. like I watched the Beverly Hillbillies. I know. Yeah, all about you, you know somebody's right. got he got shoes on. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I have to explain shit up there. Like I'd be in the middle of a story talking about fucking cone traps or some shit like, like that, what? right? And they're like, "What's a cone trap?" <laughs> Out loud in the audience. Yeah, and I'm like, "Okay, hold oh, the fuck up. We shit. got it. We got a mentally disabled person over here. I got to talk <laughs> to him about it. Yeah. I got I got I got to dumb this down a little bit. But no, it." It's just a different. It's a different type of people. I'm not saying they're bad people. I tell yeah. you, this, this, y'all gonna find this interesting. The most similar people I have found to here in my two years of touring all over the nation is in upstate New York. I I've heard that. that. I've heard I, there I a lot of that. hunting, a lot yeah. of hunters. Yeah. Out I mean, there. they are yeah. just farmers and shit. Right? I mean, they're just down home, blue collar, good fucking people. Yeah. It's rural. It's I, New York City that sucks. Yeah, New York City. They don't even claim that shit, right? right? Yeah. And I bet they get mad as hell if, if you're like, you're, I'm from New York. And you're like, oh, like, and they're like, no, not upstate New York. You don't have to because yeah. whenever you go up there, like, I was shaking their hands and meet and greets and stuff like that. And I, I judge a man by by his handshake. Everybody does. Yeah. And, uh, you know, down, it, here. It, it, down here they do. But, like, you shake these people's hands. And I can, like, I'm huge. Like, my hands are massive. Yes. And they're cracking when these blue collar boys are like squeezing my hand calluses all over. yeah and i'm like all right these these, these are my damn these people some bitch, yeah, yeah. These, yeah these are my people yeah what uh what so we we touched on it earlier about getting canceled mm. <laughs> you talked about facebook jail yeah how did you almost get canceled and how and how on the line do you like to ride oh right i don't I, i'm on it <laughs> uh, no a couple I, steps I, over and then back on i like, found a loophole all right because um, the thing what about it was they were they kept on Cancel me, cancel me, cancel me, and they turn me off this that, and the other. But the overwhelming demand for my videos and shit like that were too much. They were missing out on too much money. Who is they? So Face, Facebook. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. yeah. He, so, he, he was missing out on too has much. Has he money. called you? No, that motherfucker ain't called me. He don't want to call me. <laughs> he really. don't want to. No, he don't. He don't want to hear it. No, right. But so they were like, look. We promise not to fuck with your money anymore <laughs> if you will send us the videos before you post them. I said, fine now, with me. Now, this is Facebook, not your management team. No. Now, my management team last year, I got into it with a person in the crowd that uh, she didn't like one of my jokes. Okay. And this apparently, is comedy, lady. This is it's comedy, comedy, but it was a plant. I was in a, and I, I'm not scared to go into very blue cities. That's a real thing, a plant? Yeah, it, it, yeah, it, it was a plant. Oh, and so she came in right. attacking you on purpose. On, on purpose. purpose. On purpose. Yeah. She, like, they found out later that it was her and like seven other people who came in to it's just get, disrupt. Yeah, just to, no, to get offended, make a scene, leave, and then report it to the news people Did around they the have area. Their phones and shit up? Oh, yeah, 100%. And then they sent the shit to my agency, and my agency called me. He was like, look, man our hands are tied here i said fuck it quit i mean cancel me so they canceled out the rest of my tour i said fuck it i will go hunting you need to understand something y'all ain't fucking with me at right, all. right 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 it's then, hunting season so it's, it's hunting season it's like, like your agency ways. got it like got nervous about it they know who the fuck you are yeah but it, yeah but at the same time uh anything i mean look what i mean do, do you really think bud light feels the way that they did it but their shit no they don't no. That, it, that was that was somebody putting pressure on them that if you don't do something about this you're homophobic and it's it, uh, and it's the same thing. You. It's the same okay. thing in social okay. media. Okay, okay. If the video, which they had videos, I mean, I ain't, I ain't ashamed of shit. I said it. I meant it when I said it, and I mean it now. Say it right. again. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I will. No. Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Come out to the show. You get a standing ovation. Yeah. 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 But you, no, you are you in God's country. But they came out and they made this big ruckus. And my fucking DJ for this. Oh my God, my DJ for this tour was on point. You have a DJ. Like my sound guy. Oh shit! Yeah. I'm thinking like no 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 no. I'm not big boogie. Um, 
<laughs> no, but like, so as they all got up and they said their piece and screaming this that, and the other, and they're walking down the aisle out, my D, my sound guy just flips on. Na 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 na. Nah, hey, na, 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 hey, yeah. hey, yeah. hey. Yeah. But, he, know, I would keep him on. Oh yeah, no, he no, he, no, he, he's on, he's on. Yeah, he's on. But uh, every, the cool thing about it was everybody in the audience joined in, so it, it was going out with a bang for sure. It, it was, and I was cool with never doing it again. And then I get that's this, dangerous. You're da- you're like you're like Trump dangerous, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. I don't care. Kind of like a loaded gun. I, I, yeah, exactly. I, I, I burn me care. down. Let's go. I am no longer working for me. You need, everybody needs to understand that everything that I do business wise now is has nothing to do with me, my fortune, my estate, nothing. Mm-hmm. I am trying to leave something for my kids right. and my grand and my grandkids to where they don't have to worry about anything. Am I going to try to teach them, you know, the, the value of a dollar and all that stuff? Absolutely. But is, does it hurt to have a, a, a backup plan? No, 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 right. I'm no I, I can make it on like zero dollars. I would like to have a nickel where I can buy me a, like a bag of salt goes a little bit better, but I can grow my own tobacco, my own food. I can hunt. I, I don't need anything. You could build a cabin in the woods, hunt, fish, yeah, and do your and thing. Do it, be and fine. be just as happy right now. My girl will tell you that my biggest, like, I can't, my biggest like regret in this life is the fact that I ever got a cell phone. Like I'm being dead ass. Which serious. is funny because that's a conundrum. It, it is because it's how I make my living right, and it's, it's how right, I do this right, and the other. Right. But I hate the phone yeah. because I, I'm with you. I have so many people that work for me and that work with me. Not all of them work for me, but some a lot of people work with me. My phone rings on average 250 times a day. I believe it. it's been blowing yeah. up the whole time. That, you, you see <laughs> like, I, didn't see, I can't see it. I can't see I it. I have, like, I just opened it up a few minutes ago. Yeah. I've got 39 notifications. Yeah. Ugh. You need to be like my dad. My dad's 62. Mm-hmm. He got a cell phone last year. <laughs> that would be amazing. No, he, had, he had a jitterbug before that. No, day. he had zero phones. The only reason why he needed a phone is because my mom, my grandma was getting sick. Yeah. So my mom. He didn't have a jitterbug flip phone. He had no phone. I said, no yeah. phone. That's an OG. I'm that's like, Dad, how did anybody want to get touch me? He goes, you know where the fuck I'm at? No, no, <laughs> no he's, he should have said exactly. 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 You don't need to get I would you. love to do that. I'm just not at the point in my life where I, like, I, I'm not. No, you can't now. I, you're I, in. I can't. You're in the matrix. I, I'm not doing this. Uh, what what I'm, I'm trying to get away from the politics of it. I really am. But don't get me wrong. I love politics because I think people are fucking idiots. But at the same time, when it comes to comedy and everything like that, I'll never stop being who I am. But. I want to get to the point that I can do what I love and live that way. That's why I'm starting the hunting show, the fishing yeah. show, and I'll be able to sleep good at night knowing that I'm bringing quality items and I'm saving the blue collar man money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can still, I can still make enough to keep my lights on, right? but at the same time, I'm helping somebody else. And then I tour when I want to. See what I'm saying? See, I, see my contract, I guarantee you they don't resign me at this end of this year because they quit, they quit booking my shows, what? right? Because of some shit that that went down earlier <laughs> this year. Because some other shit. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Yes. Yeah, some, yeah the, just the, some si- other shit. Similar, but a lot of yes. people were saying shit, Joey. Yeah, yeah, a, lot a lot of people were saying, saying shit. shit. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they, 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 I've constantly got Karens and shit like that. Man, we had a dude trying to kill people when we went to Joplin, Missouri. Like, I'm, like, and my agency doesn't want to beef up my my venues and stuff on security and stuff. They don't want to spend the money for it in order. You got to people make, trying to rush you on stage. I mean, we have people come in Joplin, Missouri, that Jesse Payton knocked his front tooth out. Who's Jesse that, Payton? He's my opener. He's the guy from Texas I was telling you yeah, about. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah. yeah, he knocked his front tooth out. He was trying to kill people in there. Like, literally was targeting because it's such a single demographic <laughs> that comes to my shows. Like, the, it, it's borderline dangerous is Got what I'm saying. You. So, like, tomorrow night, I mean, tomorrow night, Saturday night, it's, just a, it's just a thing. You'll right? be good tomorrow. Well, yeah. No, I got cops fucking everywhere just for the off chance that somebody's trying to hit me in the hometown. Really? But, that would only have to be for views or, like, clout. Like, I got him in his hometown. Because well, the audience there is He's a every, plant. They're, they're all plants. They're all plants. I get it. it, it I, it's basically, it's a very small, like, kind of version of Antifa. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Correct, like, they're, they're literally planting themselves in the audience, in, in my social surroundings, something like that, in order to try to get a rise out of me. What they need to understand is I'm way fucking smarter than they has are. He, they be, do they understand what South Mississippi's all about? If like, they come you, down, they ain't got to worry about you. They got to worry about everybody that's around. That's what I was going to say. They're, they'll never get to me. No. 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 If no. they come in the door and start shit, I got news for you. The, the, the crowd itself is going to kill them. Yes. That, that that will happen. But I'm instantly. I, I don't have that everywhere. Though. Right. And my right, agency right, doesn't right. want to beef up security and pay the extra money for the secure events and stuff like that. So, so like I, you're just still hot potato. We're we're out. Yeah, I, I mean that's basically my my agent was like, look, man, uh, we're gonna go ahead and roll these shows right here for the rest of the year, and then uh. And we probably ain't going to book no more. Well, I can read in between the lines. Right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, That's right. saying we already have tickets sold to these shows. I'm not booking you anymore because when October 1st hits, you're done, which is perfectly fine with me because I have started making precautions. 
and I'm booking my own fucking. I was shows. gonna say right. you can do your own shit. I'm yeah. booking my own fucking yeah. shows next year. Yeah, that 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 will have. I will pick the areas that I want to go to, which is right into the belly of the fucking beast. And are you gonna go into belly? You're going of the beast? to North? Right? Oh, I'm 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 going there. Fuck New York I, City, Washington D.C. If they'll let, if I can find a venue, let me go. I'm fucking going because here's the thing: Push if the they if they do shoot me, okay. I will be the most famous fucking comedian on earth. <laughs> yeah, All right, and I'm p- calling a press conference as soon as I become conscious again. And I'm going to get on the mic in front of God and everybody. I'm going to say, Democrats can't shoot worth a shit. Show still on. See y'all tomorrow night. Hell yeah. yeah. So you'd be like a mixture of Jeff Foxworthy and Tupac. Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's a great analogy. Yeah, I love I Jeff that. Tupac. Yeah. I right? love that. Jeff, Jeff Tupac. Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Tupac. That's good. Yeah. That's, you can you use, use that tomorrow night. Use that no charge. No charge. Yeah, we're going to use that in the shit. Yeah, yeah, whenever I say that, just, just raise your hand. I'll give you, I'll yeah, give you credit. You're going to hear, like, everybody's like, oh, we did that. You're going to hear one thing. Yeah. It's, it's being <laughs> Jerry. It's just slow clap. Just fucking into that. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it's gotten to that point. It really has because it's, it's just, there's so many astro people out there. And if I don't go into them season, I'm giving them what they want. You know how many times I go into cities and they, I get messages and hate mail and stuff like that? Like, you don't need to come into our city. We're going to protest. I said, please do. I'll make the fucking news. Yeah, I, 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 like, I really don't care. Sell my tickets out. Here's what's weird, though. Comedy used to be about going out and hearing some shit. That, and getting roasted. Yeah, yes. that, like like that, that. I hate the word offended. Man, I hate that word. But it's like it ruffled your feathers, right? Mm-hmm. Like, that was the funny part of it. And even when a comic does shit that I don't necessarily agree with, if it's funny, I'm like, ah, oh, that was funny. I, I like fucking that. That hate funny. Bill Burr. I think, he, I, like, I hate wow, it. You I, hate Bill Burr? I hate his political views. I hate everything about him, but that motherfucker's a comedian. See, I no, laugh every time I, I really watch him. I don't know his political views. I don't know that I've deep Watch in- one of his, uh, like, look him, read him between the lines. Whenever Next time you watch one of his Netflix specials, read him between the lines. He is the most liberal person I've ever met, before, like, ever seen before in my life, and he has a platform and he uses yeah, it. Yeah. And I can't stand him. Like, the, the, uh, people keep on telling me, oh, you know, we all don't have to be. Have the same uh same views and whatever to hang out. Why the fuck would I want to hang out with anybody who thinks differently than me? Yeah. Why would I? I don't yeah. give a fuck what you do as long as you do it way over there. But I'm not hanging out with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? We ain't but, friends. No, we not friends. We not cool. We not buddies. You think that way? It's wrong. Go the fuck over there. Mm-hmm. Think that way over there. But Bill Burr is a comedian. I laugh at his mm-hmm. comedy, but I hate him as a person. Well, it's, it's kind of like you gotta put I have, I have you gotta put you gotta put blinders on when you go into a comedy. Show. That's it. But I'm also you know you're gonna get like like I when just, you hang out with us like yeah, our yeah. group. Yes, you're gonna get, get roasted. Like, you're same gonna, with me. You're if gonna nice feel to like you, shit. Yeah. You're gonna be like, God dang, why do these dudes hang out with each other? They hate yeah, each other. Yeah, but I, I'm but, not soft as Charmin. So if it's like correct, you know what I'm correct. saying, I can go in there. And I can be sitting in the front row and be like, look at this motherfucker right here. He ain't seen his dick in six years. And I'm going to laugh my fucking yeah. ass off. But I'm not soft. Right. right. These motherfuckers are soft. Yes. And if you give them what they want by not going into them cities, right. they win. Right. They not going to win. Right. Not with me. They no. might win with somebody else. They ain't win with me. <laughs> no. I like it. Yeah, I could see that video guy coming out. I like that. That's no, I like it. it. I like, I like it. it. I, I like I, it. I, 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 blood pressure. Yeah, blood, blood pressure. Man. Blood 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 you got to yeah, yeah. check it. Now, now, let me check the roller. <laughs> Your, uh, Just to get him a water. The Apple, Apple, <laughs> Apple Watch is going off. Your heart rate is increasing. Yeah, right. right. I'm with you on that though. I, I like, I like having discussions with people that don't think the same way I do. I like entertaining ideas. I can have I a do, discussion I with anybody, that. and yeah. I can keep my voice just like this right here, right, until they raise theirs. Now, the second that their voice goes up one decibel, that's called old school. Fucking old game school. on, that's you lose. School. You're not winning. Because yeah. if it because if, if I'm starting to lose in the verbal thing, I'm going physical, and I can promise you, <laughs> I'm I'm, your ass. like I'm the toughest <laughs> motherfucker around. If I ain't, I'll do till that somebody gets here. All right, right, right I'm right, going right. to fuck you. You gonna up. earn it to beat me? That's it. <laughs> I'm going to fuck you up. Right, right. It's, it's simple as that. I, I, maybe I shouldn't be like that, but I'm not. I'm not lying saying I'm not. I think we. Okay. I think we need. I don't know. We're gonna get burned for that. But I think you need a little bit more of that. I think it was cool back when you had to respect people. I don't know how X-rated y'all go on this podcast it's, right here. Hey, it's the internet, baby. Okay, yeah. okay. So, I, hey, if you're at work, turn this off. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I, I'm going to probably say if some you're still shit. at work. I don't know why you're still at work. I, I well, know if you can listen on the replay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. I know my girls watching this, and her, her like, she just got very stressed. Mm-hmm. But I'm fitting to say some shit. She's like, she's what's like, like this? Hey, and this is bitch. live. Yeah. Uh, it, it's live. I got it. I will. I. I That's the system. Audio. There it goes. All right, yeah, go ahead. Go okay, back. okay. Right, I'm going to restart my disclaimer. <laughs> I, I, Zach Russian, feel in my heart that the best justice system that we have in this entire nation is our prison system. And let me explain why. Mm. Because 
if you act up and you have done something morally wrong, you don't have to worry about anything when you go to prison because the yard will take care of you. Ah, got you. You see what I'm saying? Gotcha, gotcha. So if you're one of these people who like to touch kids. Right. Okay. hundred percent. And you go in there. You're going to catch it quick. You're going to catch it quick. You're going to you're done. And you know why? Because they don't have anything to live for and they're doing the right thing to try to get into to the good Lord's kingdom because that is exactly what uh, needs to happen. Well, I, I think it's, I think there is a code among criminals. If that, if that, that sounds weird, but here's the thing. They're okay with like wheeling and dealing. Yeah, you steal, you can shoot, you well, can uh, or, or but, sell this or yeah, sell but rape uh, five, or but whatever. You don't, rape, you don't, don't with yeah. the kids. Molested, and, and, mo- molestation, rape. And, and it goes back to like yeah. almost like the old, like the mafia movies, right? Like those are civilians. Mm-hmm. We're out here, so whatever we're doing, me and you want to go toe yeah. to toe. Right. Don't no mess problem. with the wife, don't right. mess with the kids. Don't That's that exactly yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's how you fix where America is going right now. This is this how you fix it. Nobody's scared of punishment anymore. Mm-hmm. Nobody's scared. Well, there of ain't it. much, is there? That, that there's not. So if somebody does, let, all right, let's let's say it like this right here. Let's say somebody. I'm not going to say it because I know I'm getting fucking canceled if I say it. But let's not say, show, they gonna, not. well, they'll shut, <laughs> I'll shut down quicker as they can shut anything else. Let's say that somebody does something very immoral to a child, right? Okay. The government or whoever the fucks in charge or the first person that gets to them should shoot them, kill them. Yes, because with that being said, he, it, they, whatever fucking pronouns, try me, okay, cannot produce any more fucked up individuals, and it creates a punishment for an act. Right. If there's no punishment for an act, there is no re- there, there's no there's no change. Right. You right. see what I'm saying? Right. There was titties on the White House lawn. Like 48 hours ago. That. I saw that. Okay. Saw that. There is children's books. I saw that. That have sexual innuendos, yep. d- diagrams, yep. illustrations, I everything. Didn't believe that. I didn't believe it. Oh, it's and there. No, I it's saw there. it. I, it's I, there. In children's libraries, in school, a black pastor took that book that is in question. Burn it. No, no, no. He took it to the school board meeting. Yeah. Started reading out of it. Was, and it literally started with this, with this sentence. I've seen some of those videos. It yeah. said, her her vagina started to become moist. No, as, I didn't as, know it was that. Yes, as he's as he's this is a children's book. LGBTQI plus A, a B C D E D F G whatever the fuck else letters that they've come up with today. Mm-hmm. All right. And it's in that book. And the school bird said, said, Pastor, Pastor, we can't have those words. I said he and literally the pastor, I'd like to lost my fucking shit. The pastor looked at him and said, Why the fuck is it in the schools then? Yeah. And everybody went silent. But People are getting enough of this shit. I have so many gay friends. I do. I I, I really understand lesbians because when they pull you out of your mama, the first thing they do is throw your ass on a titty. All right. I I, I, I fully understand them. I love them. I, I, I think they're fuck, <laughs> I, I think they're fucking great. All right. But and but like gay guys, I have a dude that I work out with at the gym every morning at seven o'clock. I walk in. I said, "What's up, Phil?" Every day. I didn't know he was gay. Why? Because he doesn't talk about it. He does not talk about the fact that he's gay. I know a trans woman. Okay, yes, yes, I do. Yes. It, it, it was a man. Do you hate her? Do you hate her? Uh, no, right? No, but That's it, my point. let me That's tell you. Let me tell you why. Because he was a man. He's always acted like a girl. He got to the point in his life that he decided to do something about it. All right. So I just straight up asked him the other day. I said, "Rascal, let me ask you something. How do you feel about everything that's going on right now?" He said, "I hate it." I said, "Can you explain to me why they're doing it?" He said, for attention. I said, well, what do you mean by that? He said, Zach, I had a sex change operation, okay? Before I did that, I had to go to a sexiologist or whatever the hell it's called in order to learn how to be a woman because there is certain tendencies that women do that is not natural to men, like putting your hand over your mouth when you yawn, crossing your legs, all this this other type of stuff. So with that being said, I went and done the research. But why did I go do the research? I said, I don't know. And he looked at me, or she, sorry, she looked at me and she said, to blend in because I don't want attention. If I wanted attention, I would not have went and done all these things to right. try to blend in. I changed my sex to, to something that I felt like I needed to be to fly under the radar. Right. These people that are doing it are doing it for attention. That's all that's doing. That's, that, all, that's all they're doing the, is, is the, for attention. The, the furries, the whatever. They are putting litter boxes, y'all, in yeah. children's classrooms. Yeah. And they're taking shits in the corner. Yeah, you lost your mind. That that was a good point though. About you people, lost your mind about the attention thing. I didn't. I didn't. That's a good point. It's all good attention. Point. No, it is. It is. But, but it, if you this, if this you, shit gonna make me drink. That, well, if you meet most, hey, you want the pineapples back? Give me back the pineapple. Give me pineapple. Back pineapple. Back. Yeah. Yeah. If you meet most gay uh, guys, girls, girls, guys, whatever it is, whatever you're right. gonna do it. Yeah. That are regular everyday couples. Mm-hmm. 
they don't draw attention to themselves. Yeah. They, they don't just, want to. They, they just want to live like me life. and you. That's right. So they want to hang out like me and you. Yeah. Like my, my wife hangs out with me, but if I was married to a guy, my husband hangs out with me. <laughs> right. That's what it is. Right. But here's the thing I want to say though. Yeah. Like, people, somebody like you, right? You're out there. You're, 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 I am who I am. I got, I got these followers. I make, I do this show. I, I'm not changing for anybody. It, it, it's uh it's it would be easy to say that you're homophobic transphobic all the things that they try to paint that's right, right. call right. me that because no, i don't care yes no but, i know yeah. but what i'm saying everybody in your genre mm, yeah I'm, I'm talking from like like generic right yeah y'all are all that everyone one, one paintbrush yeah whole same color you just said that you're not that no and you got people in your life that you know because this is how i feel that's mm. the, this is the reason why I'm, at, I'm saying this yeah i don't everybody wants to put it i think you should you be label able, somebody i think you should be able to do whatever you want I think you'd be able that's to live, called live, freedom. Live, correct. Live your life. Yeah. Right. Li freedom. Uh, pursue liberty and opportunity. Mm -hmm. Right. It, it okay. And, and you do it over there, and I and I'll do my shit over here, and and we respect each other. That's right. It's it goes back to old school stuff. Respect. Hold open the door. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. What if you want to be called, ma'am? I'm okay with that. It I doesn't have a problem with that. It doesn't affect me, and literally, it affected no one because they were just doing their own thing out in left field. You know, w b before they. I just think it becomes a weapon. I'm just flirting. I think it's a weapon. I'm just flirting the line very good. I know I my you. I know no, my girls having a fucking panic attack right now. Well, it, but it, no, it, no. It, it, until they started to be the dog trick where they took your nose and rubbed it in it. Yeah. That's when it right. started. And to, there's a balance between yes. awareness yeah. and the nose. I have thing no problem about. with it. I mean, if you don't but teach did, my, don't put you, it in school. Did you make a don't video do stuff about like that? A, a, a recently about a um a large distributor of merchandise? I did. Okay. I did. It got taken down. Oh, um, it did. Yeah, it did. It From got Facebook. Yes, it did. Because no uh, way. But it didn't get taken down because of me. It didn't affect me. It got taken down because of the comments. So it didn't affect me. But uh, like the the discussions in the comments had gotten so heated that they deemed it uh, unlawful behavior. Son of a what? It, I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, that's a thing. But what I was gonna say, a minute <laughs> yeah, ago, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah that is a thing. <laughs> Let me, I didn't it's a know new that. thing. I didn't know that. Let me put it to y'all like this. Go ahead. If you're, I knew this was gonna be a good episode. By yeah. The way. <laughs> if you're, if you feel in your heart that you're right about something. Uh, you don't have to prove anybody else that you're right. Okay. Okay. At the same time, if you believe what you're doing is right for you and the rest of the nation disagrees with it, it's also okay. Yeah. But when you're not sure about what you're doing and nobody was giving you the attention that you were wanting for doing what you do, and you went after the only group of humans on this planet who can be manipulated because of, of ignorance of life, of life experiences in order to make their own opinion, AKA children. children yeah. Yeah. That is when the moms, the dads, the brothers, the Uncle Zachs and shit like that get involved. Yeah. If they would have been fine out there cutting whatever you want or sewing whatever on, it didn't bother me a bit. It mm -hmm. wasn't coming out of my damn tax dollars. Mm -hmm. You do what the hell you want to over yonder. But when you wasn't getting the attention that you wanted, nobody thought like you and you felt like sad about well, it. So like you went right after the kids. Yeah. Then you bring back public education, uh, public education. As yeah. Well, yeah. I, I just, <laughs> I like to live, let live. That's my well, thing. live and let live. You, right? you, and that's can, you can't, that's you can't attack, saying. but don't, don't push your agenda. Kids. Don't I'll, push your different. agenda. I'll put, I'll put it in the, uh, in the complete opposite universe. Okay. Say that they absolutely, there was just this whole fuck. Like we were the minority, the people that thought that we should go out and be able to hunt and fish. And they thought that was animal cruelty and if they have souls and this, and this, that, and the other. I don't give a fuck what they say, right. but at the same time, even if they made it illegal, I'm still going to do it yeah. because I know what I'm fitting to do. I don't need attention for going hunting and fishing. Y'all have right. never seen me post a picture of, you know, one of these trophy whitetails that I get to go hunt or, or something like that. Why? Because I don't need recognition, which is the same reason because of social media and keyboard warriors these days. I don't post my charity contributions on social media. I tell you what I'm raising money for. I pay a tax consultant a lot of money every month to make sure that money goes there. But I do not post me handing people money Correct. or, or Correct. taking kids somewhere. Why? Because seventy percent of the comments, how social media works, would be like, "Oh, you're only doing it for the clout." Yeah. So right. y'all can fuck well, off. Yeah. And audit me, audit well, me if you want to. I respect that though. Not not the comments. The not doing yeah. it because I know for myself, I would feel the same way. I, I would not want I to think, do something nice and then do this. You know, yeah. I don't want that. I, I, I did it one time. The first thing I ever did. Once a year, I have a cancer benefit at Walmart Community. There's Center a there. balance. That's There's right. There's a very big balance. I, let me let me say that as well. Mm -hmm. I think the whole world needs to be moonshiners. Yes. Why? Because nobody talks shit about moonshiners, and moonshiners don't say shit about nothing about else. They don't want nothing to be about what you're in. They don't want nothing in your business. Nothing. Yeah. I, I mean, sit that's in the woods, do your thing, <laughs> hand it out, if, walk out. If we could just get the majority of men that have women mentalities to start thinking like men again, we'd be okay. And what I mean by that is like, okay, 
say you come up to me and you say, hey, Zach, we still going golf tomorrow? I said, yeah. And you say, okay, good, because I'm, I'm splitting up with my wife. I say, all right, it sounds good. I'll meet you at the first tee. That's the end of that fucking conversation. That's right. the end of it, okay? I don't need to know why. Right. I don't need to know what happened. I don't need to know who who cheated on who or whatever. Right. That's none of my business. We're still going to play golf. We're still going to play if golf. If you want to talk about it, we'll talk about it. If, if, he, if he brings it up. Right, right, right. But, I see, I go home and go tell my girl, hey, you know, they're, hey, they're splitting up. <laughs> why? Oh, my God, what I, happened? Did you ask? It's like, <laughs> no. Did you ask? No. Why? Because it's, it's none of my damn – if you want to tell me, tell me. Yeah. But, see – that's the that's thing. fight club though. That's, that's, that's it's it. a different. You, you, it's a different fight club of men and women. That's it. But at the same time, majority of men are the one thinking about women, like women right now, because they want to know the who, what, when, where, why, when it doesn't affect their lives at all. Right. right. Stay, in your, that. That never Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. I wonder why you go back to like the canceling this and that, and the other thing. Yeah. Why does it seem to me like there's a certain sector of the, uh, not the political spectrum, but of society that leans towards certain things like you're talking about mm -hmm. respect god country values but that's is that is that being persecuted and then is it also being lumped into if you believe those things you are automatically then this labeled yes this and we you know you're against this you're against that you're against you're a homophobe you're you're a racist you're this is that are, are they blending these together on purpose it did, it did exist inside of that at yeah. some point. I don't want to act like it didn't because it did, right? So I, yeah, it did. I'm trying to figure out how to put this into words that like doesn't come off as me being like a like a like a douchebag. <laughs> but at the same time, this is as deep as we've gone on this podcast, probably. <laughs> it really is on these on these topics. Glad I could be here with you. Thank you, thanks, um, man. Nature's been around for millions of years, buddy, and uh, nature squirrels uh, is still and territory is still fought over hand and fist, whether it be with deer or survival of the fittest in the ocean or right. a territory with a moose or something like that. In today's time, we have gotten into this ideology that everything that we think we deserve, we deserve. And with that being said, the people who think like me and I, and I'll glump myself in with them. We still have our primal instincts. We still believe that eat what it, you kill, eat what you kill. If somebody's in need and you're able, you, ha you help, help them. them. Um, if somebody is upset with you, you can make a valiant effort to fix it. If you want to, if not the world, the sun's coming up tomorrow, just like Annie fucking said. Yep. The, a lot of people with me, and this is one of the biggest complaints that I get, and I get, get it from people who I don't give a fuck about. <laughs> it, 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 I, 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 I don't. That was good. Is that the fact good. that I don't care what you think of me. I don't in no way, shape or form does the opinion of one person about Zach Russian in this entire planet. Right. Besides my girl, besides her, that might make me stay up like an extra 15 minutes. But other than that, I'm not losing any fucking sleep. It's through a higher power. Well, yeah, right? yeah. I do. Yeah. You you think you worry about your family. If you're down from the South, you worry about your family, worry about your, family. your girl, your dog. Other yes. than that, piss right. off. Like, I don't care what's I, going on. I can pull in my driveway and not have a single visitor for five years. And I'm going to live the same way as if everybody stops by to come fucking see me because they like me. I don't care. I'm still going to walk out there and pick my okra, going to check on my corn, going to shoot a couple of geese because they keep eating my fucking sunflower seeds. Right. And I'm going to go on about my damn business. Well, I think it's it, that's, a, that's a self esteem thing. It rooted in happiness. You're correct. Yeah, You're so correct. Like, You're like, correct. I, like I'm, I'm, I'm good. Like I can go out in my backyard, work on my boat, go fishing. I don't care if you if you like it or not. I don't really don't give a shit. I also stand very strong on principle. Like I, I'll tell you how stupid I am with principle. I refuse to go through a self checkout. Ref really? I refuse because, and let me tell you, let me tell you why. Yeah. Because yeah. I plan on having children someday. Okay. And they're going to grow up. And if I need to teach them the value of a dollar, I want them to go get a job. Mm -hmm. What do we do when there ain't no more jobs? Cause it's all robots now. Oh, that's coming. So you, you see, just, you, you, I mean, see, that's coming, but, but I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to contribute to it. Right. So we were down there at a uh, neighborhood Walmart the other day, had to grab a few things. And there's one register open in the entire place, but there's 19 self checkouts. Yep. I'm standing in line with the other 35 people because I had to get snuffed it, at the at the count. At the, you can't the, buy that at the self-checkout. You can't buy that at self-checkout, so I'm in line. So the lady come over to me, and she says, uh, she goes, excuse me, sir, would you mind going to self-checkout? I said, no, thank you. She come back two minutes later, asked me the same thing. I said, still not going. <laughs> Third time she come, I said, bitch, I'm staying <laughs> right uh, here. Answer the question. Yeah, yeah. but. If in any way, shape, or form, you can go over there and type your code into that fucking self checkout, right. and it gives me ten percent off my entire order for doing y'all's job, I will take my fat ass over there and I get my snuff from the gas station. And she just looked at me. She goes, "Well, I can't do that." I said, "Well, I'm working here now. Yeah, because I'm ringing up my own shit. Yeah, 
I deserve something for it. Y'all can still make 90%, give me 10% off, and I will waddle my fat fucking ass over there and ring up my grapes, my mangoes, and my extra small condoms, and I will walk <laughs> out of this motherfucker. <laughs> and okay? my coconut egg and stuff. Yeah. It, it, it bring a yeah. fucking roll of that shit while we're at it, yeah. Patricia. Yeah. Patricia, but, yeah. yeah. I, I, I refuse. I will not do it because of principle. You know that's not yes. slowing down, right? Huh? I know it's not, it's but not. here's the thing. I don't care if it it's, slows it's down. about to like, I think it's about to like exponentially get faster. Perfect example. I don't care if it slows down. I'm not helping it. Yeah. That's principle. Yeah. That I, I just, I refuse. I like I have, pr- from the time I was two years old, I have brushed my teeth every morning <laughs> and every night with Aquafresh. Okay. Aquafresh. Aquafresh. Uh-uh. I refuse. You're old. That's old school shit. Yes. That's the that's one that has the, a three colors. Right? That's white three. Three. Oh, I used to use that. That's what yes. they push. Yes. I have yes. never Is it used... still push? Yeah. It's, it is? It's, it's still got stand the little, up. No, yeah. no, no. The little, the top thing. The and it, comes up. Up. it has yeah. that one. It's yeah. not the one I get because I'm not saying. All right. But All right. I have never used another toothpaste other than Aquafresh and I refuse to now. I will let them motherfuckers ride out of my I used to be I will go get veneers before I use another toothpaste. Oh, Robbie Williams. He'll get you yeah, we, yeah, we yeah, have yeah. a sponsor. He said, yeah, he's a nice if he can yeah. give me 10% off Aquafresh. <laughs> he probably can. Yeah, he can. Uh, I used to be an Aquafresh guy. Now I'm a Colgate guy. I'm a Colgate guy. Hey, and, and that's perfectly fine. Yeah, but I made that decision all But as long as, you're not, as long as you're not pushing Colgate on him, we're right. good with him. I'm not I telling you, you to do it on Colgate. that side of the fucking table. <laughs> <laughs> Brush your <laughs> shit with your <laughs> shit. That's yeah. it. No, don't bring that shit over right, here. Right, right. And don't, you, don't invite me to stay over. Because <laughs> I ain't brushing my I teeth. No, fuck that. Yeah. And if, we go, if we go hunting, fishing, I'm bringing my own shit. Yeah, That's exactly yeah. right. See, that, that, that toothpaste analogy. We agree to disagree. It, it, it fits, if it's culture, if it's society, right? It, it right? does. I use Colgate. You use Aquafresh. And man, you get. Let's see whose mouth smells better. <laughs> I, to be honest with you, I don't give a fuck about yeah, that either. Don't give a shit what you you say that. Yeah. Just over I, Your mouth ain't got a goddamn to do with me. Yeah. That's, that's right. what I'm saying. That's right. But if, if everybody in this nation took the same approach right. as that toothpaste right, right there, right. we'd be perfectly we, fine. We would be. That, Let me that write that. Go ahead. What is put, that? Put that out. Yeah. I got to write that down. Trying so we got a show this shit. weekend, right? Yes. Yeah. But he's Let's already about He's 100 sold out. I'm, yeah. I'm, well, I'm, well, we're still gonna talk about it. Yeah. I'm so, I, This is what I say. If you can't get a ticket, go in the parking lot. Don't protest. <laughs> protest to get in. Yes. All right, do that. So, do a second show. Right. Yeah. Right. There well, you go. Um. So um. I'm doing this as my homecoming show. I've never done a show at home. Yes. And it is a completely different demographic than what I'm used to. And I've never been nervous for a show ever. And I'm not nervous now. I'm nervous about the people fucking coming. Because I know, because I put the I put the, I put the tickets on sale, the first three rows sold out in like eight seconds. What's well, gonna be your your, your friends? Your I know that. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 so, yeah. so look, so look, I play music, right? We played yeah. shows. Uh, the scariest show that you will ever play is the one where you know the most people. Okay, well, that's I'm the fucked. most nervous you will ever get. <laughs> when we so would go fucked. like to towns over where I was like, I don't know nobody here. I'm like, I'll do whatever. I don't give a shit. Yeah, hometown shows like. A bunch of people start texting. Oh, we're coming to the show. I'm like, oh fuck. Shit. Yeah, and, and, and they all bought first three row tickets, and I'm ah. like, oh. but here's the thing. Here, here's, don't look them in the eye. <laughs> no, fuck that. Here's my thing. I'm <laughs> fucking prepared. Yeah. And I went through and looked at every first three row ticket because I can. That's the only ones I can see when I'm on stage. You know how we got the lighting and stuff like yeah. that. I went and made sure I knew every fucking one of them, and I. Beg them to try to banter me on fucking stage because I have dirt on every one of them back. That was I sub- will air that shit out. That was a subliminal clue about the hat. You see, how he said banter you. That yes, was why the hat. Yes, we that, know the yeah. brown water thing is the hat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so you're not worried about? The, are they going to heckle you? You think? Hundred percent. But I'm ready for it because I will let everybody know that his wife's been fucking the damn gym teacher. Oh, for like three years. I don't care. Shit. I don't care. Randy, Still I remember out. when you pissed the bed in fifth grade. Yeah, don't talk shit yeah, to me on my stage. Remember tonight. when you were confused in college? Oh, oh damn. Do you want me to explain more? Or you want to be quiet? Yeah, yeah, He's like, he's like. So are you, are you the closer? Do you have an opening? I'm the closer, yeah. So okay. uh, this is how the, the thing's going to go. We're going to open the doors. We said 6 o'clock. It's too fucking hot. If people show up at 530, you can come in. We got beer ready to go. We got concession stands ready to go. All the merch booths we set up and everything like that. They come in. You're going to have music to play in. Everything rocking on. It's 7 o'clock on the dot. Jesse Payton out of Houston, Texas, hits the stage. And what's he about? I don't know him. He is a uh, he's the classic comedian. I told you about. He has okay. stories about everything, and he's funny. He's the hardest working dude in show business. I will put my stamp on that. Okay. He goes seven to seven twenty. All right. After him is Chad Prather. He is my featured act on this one. He's the cowboy from Texas. He yes. Actually, he actually ran for. Uh, governor of Texas. So that's that's the guy that's on the flyer with you. Yeah, yes. on the, that's that, the, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can, can, give a little backstory because I've seen his videos outside of even knowing y'all were connected. Right. He um he he was actually one of my inspirations to do the videos the way that I do it because he takes every day. Was he before you? Oh yeah, he's been doing it since two thousand. He, he used to sell at the IP in two thousand thirteen to fourteen. Like he's Damn. a he's an OG. This dude's like fifty years old, but he is just as hard a worker as, as I am now. He hasn't stopped. 
Okay. And but he is very um he's very proud of where he's from. He's very proud of his country. Where's he from? He's Texas. from Texas. Oh, yeah. I've yeah. Somebody's got a cowboy hat on. Where the hell you think he's yeah, from? Yeah, but uh, he he gets in his truck and he talks about real life issues and yes. finds humor in them. It, but he finds humor in his videos in order to keep people watching long enough in order to get his point across. Correct. And it works every time. And I love that. And he's okay. actually who I modeled myself after as far as my video content goes. Um, he's 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 a stand up dude. Dude's really big into PBR bulls. To be honest with you, like he don't need this comedy shit either. He <laughs> took his money, invested it into like livestock and yeah. livestock oh, shit. Yeah. 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 yeah, he's, he's got yeah. he's got like three bulls right now in the PBR. Oh damn! Shit. Yeah, yeah, he's he's doing he's doing the damn thing. I'm I'm proud of him. So man. he's just studding them out. That's yeah, all he's doing. All he's doing now. Yeah. And um, stud that, fees is where it's at. So you do 20 minutes with Jesse, 30 minutes with Chad, and you got 20 minutes with Dustin Sims, who is out of Alabama. He's the guy. I guarantee you, I've seen him on Facebook. He's the one to use the face the Snapchat filter with a big mouth. I guarantee you, y'all fucking seen him. He he's funny as hell. He's down home, small town country funny. Okay. And uh, he's probably going to be everybody's favorite besides me. But uh, <laughs> I had to get that in there right, on it. Right, right, I had right. to get that in there on it. Right. But he um he goes 20. Then we're going to take a 15 minute intermission because what I've learned in doing the shows with these longer shows is they'll stay for the first three comedians and then I go an hour to an hour and 15. I'm the headliner. That's a long time. Man. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, you just come watch the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, but so, whatever, like 10, 15 minutes into my set, they're getting up going to get a beer or going to use the bathroom or something like that. So I give him a 15 minute intermission in between Do Dust, shit. Dustin and Do me. Shit. Yeah. And then I come out headline. Then it's it, it, when it's over with, it, you know, everybody try to please buy all the fucking beer where I don't have to put that shit out of there. Yeah. And if I sell out of fucking merchandise, I promise you that I'll do a fucking cartwheel on camera. Yeah. And that's gonna be that's gonna be some funny ass shit. Yeah, but uh, and then all, all 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 three guys, which you got merch the same way. Oh yeah, they all got merch. And see, they actually do a free meet and greet uh at the at intermission. So all three of them are gonna go stand by their merch booths, and it, it doesn't take much. You can go buy a koozie, they'll sign and take a picture, right. or you can go up buy one of their shirts. It it does help us out. We don't make a lot of money off of tickets. We don't because right. because of overhead. I, 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 you, I, 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 yeah. 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 And your agency, Security, yeah. you know, your agency takes eighty percent of the shit, you know, yeah. and then they divvy it to you whenever you want. We do this because we love it, but we can't love it without actually covering our expenses. For sure. So, so the best way for us to do it is our merchandise. That's why we bring merchandise. Yeah. Why we take the time to set it up and make it nice, nice. So if yeah. if y'all are coming, it's no to the different sh- than bands. It's the same. It's thing. the yeah. same thing. You know, we're not making a lot of money because of our content. We're right. making. We're trying to make a little bit on the road on our merchandise, and it works out for me because, like this Saturday at uh at the show, and I do this for all of my shows. Any item of Triple B, any item uh with Triple B or Zach Russian merch, something like that, that is sold feeds a veteran for a day. There you go. So, so that that's that's like my whole thing on the tour, and I'm the <laughs> only tour in the nation, only comedy tour in the nation that starts with national anthem. So you do the whole play, you do all of it. Now, the first thing before stand up, before, take your hat off. Yeah, you fucking better take your hat off. Yeah. Not, you're getting kicked out. That you you will leave. That's how I judge my crowds. We did it. We did a national anthem twice on Crab Island last weekend. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yep. Walk through yep. straight national anthem. Took the hat off. Everybody boat stop. That hurt us. That could hear us. Yeah, boom, yeah. Boom, 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 it's, it, it, isn't that weird though that that is a that you had to say what you just said? It's like, an anomaly. Well, hey, come to the high school. Come to high schools and do the Pledge of Allegiance. What happens? About half of them stand up. What What do you mean? I would lose my tell me, tell, fucking tell, mind. Tell me what you mean by that. I honestly so, don't know what you mean like, by that. You, I can't make them stand up. You mean like at the beginning of first period? And so we do we do the announcements. Soccer one, blah, yeah, football yeah, one, blah, yeah. blah. And now the Pledge of Allegiance. So they get ROTC comes on. I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag. flag. Yeah. Half of them stand up. Half of them sit down. And you, as a teacher in that class, can't cannot say, say get your ass up. cannot say a single thing to them. Yeah, I wouldn't last long. My kids stand up, <laughs> but I know other classrooms. Yeah. Wow. That don't. See, see, when we were uh, when we were younger, there wasn't a choice. I don't even remember. Correct. It. It and wasn't I, a choice. You know, I'm I'm big on free thinking. I'm big on like you know, you know, don't like indoctrination or whatever. But, but that's a fundamental. Most like, of them don't here, know why they just do it for recognition. That's mm-hmm. all they do it. Oh, for. to sit? You mean correct? Yeah. That, that, oh, oh it's, somebody, cool. Is there somebody? it's cool to sit down. Yeah, like, I don't cool. give a fuck about this yeah. nation. I'm just living off the yeah, tax yeah, dollars. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm just I'm, I'm benefiting cool from it. They I'm got not profiling cool. here because, and that's another thing I do want to let everybody know that I am in no way, shape, or form racist at all. I have, said that earlier. Yeah, I said I have yeah. so many black friends and everything like that. And I honestly believe, contrary to popular belief, that there is way more trashy, no good white people in this nation than there are of any other race, period. The only problem is, is that when they do something, okay, 
it don't it don't get any kind of fucking attention. I I honestly believe that like as far as perfect example. Let me let me go deep again. Let's dig a fucking shovel real quick. <laughs> All right. If a white if a white man shoots a white cop, mm-hmm. it'll never make the news. No. no if, a, if a black man shoots a black cop, it'll never, never make the news. news. All right. If a black cop because we're overcompensating now, if a black cop shoots a white man, it will never make the news. If a white cop shoots a black any anybody. Ca- anybody it's going on the news not because of Anyone what he did shit. was wrong right. which it probably was or whatever but it's just the fact you put that back into the news to re-energize racism racism has been gone forever do you know who <clears throat> the last known slave owner in america was abraham fucking lincoln and he's he claimed for like freeing them here's the deal i've i've done my history i know it very well they came in up north the north sold with, they sold the slaves to us. That was the times, okay? Now all these people in California are claiming that they want a million dollars a family. I saw that, yeah. Reparations. Reparations, right? Yeah. Here's the thing. And I will do this if somebody will fucking let me. You get me, whoever is in charge of that fucking organization out there that says that they want a million dollars, I will go to Yazoo City, Mississippi, and I will go pick a raw piece of cotton. All right? And I will bring it to them and hand it to them. Pick this cotton. They'll say, I don't know how to do it. I say, you ain't never picked no fucking cotton, and I've never made you do that. Why are you mad at me? One hundred percent. My grandma grew up in Meridian. They picked more cotton. And they, all they did was pick cotton. That's Here, all they the know. Th- it doesn't matter what happened. You want to talk about somebody who got treated bad? How about the Native Americans? Yeah, we we fucked them. Okay. Oh, how about yeah. the Irishmen? Yeah. They come over here. They bought. They basically built the entire Northeast. We fucked them too. Or the Japanese. We put them in prison camps. During That's World what War I'm II. saying. We have yeah. not done right, and I'm not claiming to do right. All I can tell you is, is that I'm not paying for shit that somebody else did. Yeah. Okay. That's like poisoning yourself and waiting on them to die. That shit ain't gonna happen. I ain't yep. waiting on it. Kendrick says, "What's up?" He's in the comments now. Oh, yeah, Kendrick's yeah, he's in the here. Comments. Um, no, I get it. I get it, man. I get it. Um, it, we, it said a, we said a lot today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't even remember what the podcast was about. I don't, I don't even know where we started. I think we started with how'd you get how did you get on media? social media? And I think we ended with how do you end? So no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> right. I think I think I just ended my career. But no, it, no, it'll no, be no. okay. So it's Saturday. Saturday is seven that's o'clock. the seven o'clock show. You got four people or three people in front of you, and you're the headliner. And then I, I hit the stage eight thirty. And hit you'll the, go for an hour and a half. I'm gonna try to keep about an hour and fifteen. Um, and it, that all depends on how hard they're laughing. Cause we have a thing in this business called a laugh break, that, and it's a cardinal rule of all comedy: you do not step on a laugh. If they're laughing, let them. Oh, laugh. you better keep going. Oh, yeah. you're gonna be yeah. rolling then, yeah. especially yeah. down home. You'll be down there 10, 15, 10, now, yeah. are, you, are you taking this particular tour with everybody that you just named? Are you taking that? Is that going? Is that on the road? This That's is the it. last one. This is this is it. This was oh, the so buck, it's the finale. This is it. This is the Buckwild. This was the Buckwild comedy tour because I agreed to do this before I got resigned. And all the boys took a chance on me when nobody else wanted to work with me. So who's the boys? The, the guys that, that come with you. The boys are yeah. coming with me. Yeah, they yeah, they yeah. told their agency they're like, look, we'll pay him. We want him to come with us. I know what he brings to the table. Damn. And but no agency wanted to touch me because of what they did. I got signed again, and because of what I did, I'm getting canceled again. But that's neither here nor there. I've done decided at the end of this year that I'm going to do my own thing. I'm actually considering doing a VFW tour because. Uh, I can rent them venues for very little. Yep. Um, I can bring a lot of people, and the VFW can make all of their money that they want off concessions and beer, and it helps out everybody. Yeah, and it fits my demographic. And if I get it, the, if I get the venue small enough, I can act, turn around and make a donation back to them. I don't want to say regret, but like working with the agencies, whether it be through the social media thing or the booking side of things, mm-hmm. do you? Now that you've been in the game for a while, do you say, yeah, that was the way to go? No, it's not. Is it too much for you to handle on your own completely or even with your team, like moving forward? I um, I think that in anything that you're getting into, I'm not too proud to say I don't know how to do something. Right. You know, say, it ain't like whenever like when, I, when I blew up, I couldn't go down the street and be like, hey, buddy, whenever you become a worldwide comedian, what'd you do? You know, I didn't have any. Right. That's my point. That's what you need help. You're, you're in it. You're in it now. Yeah. I, I'm right. in it. And uh, I took my lumps. You know what I'm saying? I took my lumps. I made some bad business decisions. I have. I've made some bad. Uh, that I'm, 6.1 million thing, that was not good. That, that, that sucked. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, 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 that sucked. one sucked. Yeah. 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 But no, I've uh, I took my lumps, but I, I learned from my mistakes, and I'm not too proud to ask questions. And thank God that I have people in my corner like Catfish and Ginger and, 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 all, and Chad and stuff like Chad's such an OG in this. He knows every aspect of the business. And um, I, I, I wouldn't, I don't regret it. Because it, it got me here, right? And uh, it made for one hell of a ride. That was it, awesome. If that if that makes sense. Oh, I get right. Yeah. Nobody that's ever climbed any kind of mountain didn't have no. a good story. It's not to talk so, about. You don't go straight up, right? It's 
No, zigzag it, up, down, two, two step, well, one step forward, two steps back. I mean, that's how it is. It's not so much the destination as it is, as it is the journey. Right. Uh, words of advice for people getting into it right now. Word of advice is um, don't create a character. I, I, will, I will tell you that right now. Yeah, if This is one thing that I'm proud of. Really? That I did. I'm surprised as hell as you said that. Yeah, don't create a character. Um, Even if it's like a caricature of you? No. Just, really? No. Roll straight with what you got. Roll straight with who you are. Because here's the thing. If I would have created a character, you've been throwing curveballs all night. Keep going. If I if I would have created a character, like and, and like Ginger Billy, okay, fantastic at what he does. The absolute yeah, hilarious as shit. If he's standing in line to pay his phone bill, and somebody comes up and says, "Oh, Ginger Billy, he's got a he's got he's got a snap into character." Hey, 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 hey. That's it, and he does it without question every single time. What happens if he does it? Exactly, he you never know, but he's too scared to see it because it might ruin that person's perception of him. And oh. you see what I'm saying? I have been Zach Russian from jump. Yeah. From, so you can about, go to Walmart, you can go to Lowe's, you can go wherever. You still Zach bad, Russian. I have bad days. Okay. I have bad, I have days where I don't want to talk to people. Correct. I, I have I got days where I'm in line at Moe's trying to get a damn burrito and people want to come up and take a picture with me. And am I gonna look over and say, No, I ain't taking a picture? Right. Absolutely Can't not. Do it. I'm gonna go over there and say, Hey y'all, man, sorry I'm a little bit off today, but let's take a picture real quick. Yeah. I appreciate y'all being fans. And I can go back to living my life right. because I'm me. I'm human. I have a I have bad days, I have good days, I have days where my dick looks huge. Okay. <laughs> and most of them are yeah. the other yeah. one. Yeah. How, do you get those, how do you get those days specifically? <laughs> I mean, just, Drugs, drugs, <laughs> extends. Blue pills, a lot of blue pills. Kendrick, Kendrick, yeah, Kendrick, 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 dude, we have been slamming his promotion. If we, if Kendrick, please stay on board with Kendrick. Us, you gotta, you gotta pay us more for this. Yeah, one. yeah, we have to up your price. Yeah. yeah, no, it's um, but that that would be my advice. That and uh, once you find something that works, this is one common mistake that I see with all influencers. They search and they search and they search topics and they search ideologies and they search mannerisms and they and, and they search all of this until they find one that hits. Right, and then as soon as that one runs its course. They go searching again. Yeah, I don't stay stay stay, true. stay the course. Stay true to who you are. You know, say dance with what dance with who brought you. Yeah. <laughs> Kendrick said, "I'm here, man." He heard that. I'm glad you. <laughs> I'm glad you heard that because I wrote it down to chop that and send it to you. But good, yeah, you heard that. Yeah, that's how you get it. Stand up. That just. Yeah. And, and here's the thing, man. How many times have y'all been out fishing and some funny shit happened and wasn't no cameras around? A hundred thousand times. times. It's, all it's, of them. You, that, was, that was like my question to you earlier. Like when we cut up, it's like it's funny all night long. That's it. Yeah. It, but to take that. Step one it would be hard to do it into the camera, and step fifty eight to bring it on stage. So kudos to you for doing that. I, I I've been impressed from looking back and watching you and a bunch of I I don't know you know Ginger Billy and all these other guys. Mm -hmm. So yeah. how they do it, but I'm like that's impressive, man. Yeah. Ginger actually told me a trick, and uh, I I use it and it works. But I don't write a whole bunch of material. I more live shoot, material. Shoot from the hip. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. shoot from the hip a lot. But he did tell me because I had writer's block bad this last uh, December. I mean, I, I have all of these extensive, like these experiences in my life and stuff that I wanted to bring to the stage and share with the world. I didn't know how to put them into form. I could not turn them into a story. Right. Cause like, you, it was like, almost like you had to be there. Right. So I called up GB and I said, look buddy, like, I, I'm having a rough time, man. It's like going on like five weeks. He told me, he said, all right, don't <laughs> eat. He said, all right, don't eat nothing tomorrow. What? I said, okay. And he said, I'm gonna call you tomorrow at midnight. I said, okay. Fast I, I, said, a, I, 24 I, hours. I said, I'm sleeping, but okay. He said, turn your phone on. I'm calling tomorrow at midnight. Do everything I say, and he called me the next <laughs> I'm, I, the next night at like twelve oh one. Okay, he waited because he's in Eastern time. He waited until it was twelve o'clock midnight my time. Called me, answered the phone, said, "All right, dude, what am I supposed to do?" He said, "Walk to your kitchen, get a get a pre workout, and mix it with apple juice." At twelve o'clock at night, I said, "Okay." Uh, and, and that's I, terrible I went, idea. I, yeah, I went in there. Shit. All I had was the fucking worst. All I had was strawberry pre workout. Oh, apple, apple juice. juice. Okay. Fuck. And I don't give a fuck. And I'm I, a gangster with that. I'll just. And I'm drinking it, and he's laughing his ass off on the phone. <laughs> and I said, "All right, I ain't questioning you, goat. What you got?" <laughs> what said, if he'd have been like, "I was just fucking with you. I'll call you tomorrow." <laughs> <laughs> no. So what happens is, is that good night. I, yeah. Good night. When you fast, I'm a comedian. He explained it to me because he was a he was a nurse for a long time. Like I see, you know, he's actually very knowledgeable about this. Ginger Billy is. It, yeah. I knew his. I think his old lady is too. No, his, right? his, no, his, his old lady is a nurse practitioner. Okay. All right. Yeah. Guys, he, she's yeah. like she's I'm like nurse, that's, that, 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 I, I remember her saying that. Yeah. Smart guy. Smart guy. No. Yeah. But no, Ginger was telling me said when you fast for an entire day, your body gets depleted of nutrients. Whenever you give it something like apple juice that is full of sugar and antioxidants, it adheres to Ranch it immediately yep. but whenever you're um whenever you get that burst of energy from the apple juice it is immediately five minutes later so, uh enhanced 
by the pre-workout because it's attacking the only sugar fibers it can find to get in order to give you energy. And I did it and it wasn't 15 minutes and I had like 15 stories wrote out. <laughs> really? It was unreal how it just clicked Shoot in my head. Oh, ah! I, think, I think you might have made up some of the science behind that, but I think it worked nonetheless. It, 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 it could have the been, placebo it, effect is I was real. just going to say, yeah. it could have been the placebo effect. Yeah. If, if it, I don't care what it correct, does. Correct. I hadn't written in five weeks. And I You're did like, it, and, and then all of a sudden, I don't know if it was just because I was so down yeah. and oh, yeah. tired and hungry and middle of the night, and shot. then all of a sudden, I just, boom, I'm like, okay, now's the time. Rock on. What what time did you Thanks, get that night? I did not. <laughs> Six that morning? I, I did not. I just stayed up till like 7.30 the next Jesus. day. And just yeah. You were like, so crashed. worth it, so worth it, yeah. so worth it. No, it, it, it was, uh, it, it, he still asked about it that day, He's like, and he calls me up, he's like, He's like, hey, you need uh, you need apple juice. Like, I'm good, buddy. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. I got like nine hours worth of material I ain't used yet. I'm good. I appreciate it, but I'm pretty sure that's worse than a Red Bull. No it's, regrets. Yeah. No, re- no regrets. No regrets so far. Um, no, I mean bad business decisions, of course. Well, and, that's, uh, that's part of it. Right? Um, but no. Uh, Start a consulting business. Well, even as low key as we are, we went through trials and tribulations. We screwed up a hundred things. Yeah, and getting and, where we are. And that's the thing. But the problem, the reason I have no regrets is the fact that I don't regret anything I ever said. If I, I might not mean it now, but when I said it, I meant it. That's that, that's one thing that I will tell you. Everything like people say, oh well, when you get drunk, you don't mean what you say. No, when you get drunk, your filter goes away, and you say exactly what you mean. Yeah. And I don't care if I got mad and over, over like just wigged out or whatever and said something to you that hurt your feelings. I'm not sorry that I said it. I'm not. I meant it when I said it. If it hurts your feelings, I kind of apologize for that. But at the same time, it's probably how I felt. Right. Well, they say the truth is kids and drunk people that's it yeah but what so so let's unpack that what do you what do you mean uh so in other words have you have you said anything that you then like got changed your stance or or whatever perfect example my opener jesse payton has a really hard time making time he he has a hard time getting off stage when i tell him to especially on as especially he just wants to keep going well he he, it's like a drug to him he doesn't drink he doesn't fish he doesn't hunt he does comedy Oh, that, he's fucked. That's his thing. So <laughs> whenever you that's, put, a, that's a Super Bowl. That's, it is. Whenever you and whenever you put him in front of an electric crowd, yeah, I'm talking he's about super that, he is like really right there. You well, know you what just I'm lose all. You, it's time dilation. That, that's you it. don't know where you're at. You don't yeah. know, right? I, you, you don't. But but when you're on my payroll, you do. <laughs> Hell was Zach, bro? Yeah, Hell, yeah. I got thirty more minutes. Yeah, yeah. They'll say, he'll come off and he'll um, he'll know it immediately. Do you have that big hook? You know, no, I've been trying to find one. Get Amazon one, don't dude. fucking have one. Get I tried. One. Uh, what's the, uh, uh, the, the 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 when you tether to a rig? That'll work. Yeah, yeah, yeah a rig. Hook. Got a rig. Justin's got a rig. Hook. Got a rig, hook. Got a rig hook. We just throw that bitch out there. Vincent will get you one. Yeah, yeah. Vincent's got one. Yeah, give me one of them. I use my fucking stage. But he come off stage one time, and after I told him to do a certain amount of time, and he went like that much over. Like uh, he went a pretty good amount over. He come off. He's like, dude, I was off. I was, uh, I was done then. But then I started my merch pitch, and I looked at him, and with these most serious eyes I've ever seen in my life, I said, I told your ass to get off stage in thirty fucking minutes. If you do it again, not only will you never work for me again, but you won't never work for anybody that I fucking know again. And I was, <laughs> Damn, fucking, I was fucking hot. Don't cross that. No, yeah. the, the, not when it comes to that because. Here's the thing: the majority of these people, that Jesse's a better comedian than me. I'll tell you that right now. He's better than me. I am as far as comedian wise. Right, right, right. Not social media wise. Right, comedian wise, right. he's way better than I am. Right. But at the same time, they came there and bought tickets to see me. All right. I gave him a slot on here in order to boost his uh, sales, in Correct. order to show his Correct. his credibility and his talents. You do the amount of time that I tell you that you're going to do because if you if I you're say, screwing if, everybody else. If I tell you you're going to do thirty and you do forty eight, then no, that's, everybody that's, else right. backed up. Everybody because there is a certain amount of laughs that people can have in a night before it just starts to become like a like a neutral feeling and it's, right. it, it doesn't hit as hard anymore. Right. And yeah. being a closer, that fucking sucks. Oh yeah, I got hot and like two days later he came up to me. He said, "Are you still mad at me?" I said, I'm not mad at you now. Yeah, I was mad at you then. And I apologize for fucking nothing. But at the same time, if your feelings are hurt, you can go talk to somebody I, about it. I was on his team until you said it was a merch pitch. Yeah. If he'd still been like like cracking jokes no. out of the park. You yeah. can't you're not stopping Barry Bonds when he's hitting home runs out of the park. No, no, no. And, and and Jesse's had nights where he went out there and absolutely his word is murdered. Murdered. Yeah. He comes off stage. I'm a killer. That's I'm it. a killer. We get we take bets backstage about how many seconds it's gonna be before he says I murdered. Okay. Because <laughs> he does every single time. He's a phenomenal fucking comedian but we also take bets on how many uh, on the over under about what he's right, gonna right. fuck them off yeah. i got 47 yeah exactly yeah. yeah and it's just but it's it's a merch pitch type deal and uh yeah, i don't like the merch pitch thing i'm out now. no see i was on his team now i'm out you're gone yeah. It, yeah, well, exit well, stage left with yeah, him off yeah, the fucking stage yeah. <laughs> <laughs> off the fucking stage <laughs> dude so, so, yeah where do we find all this all this stuff at you have everything under an umbrella yeah, so I got. You're doing a lot of shit. Yeah, you got everything under. Where, where's the main? Where's your main go to? 
Uh, Rushing Enterprises is my is my main company, and uh, so I have Triple B Outdoors underneath it, which it, it, you can find that just Google PBB Outdoors. All right. And my what website. was the story behind that? That was a good one. Okay, let's go. Let that, before, yeah, yeah, real quick. Um, so no, we'll get it on. I yeah. wanted to uh, I wanted to create an outdoor company. I wanted to be the Poor Boys Bass Pro Shop, but I didn't have any fucking ideas. So I went to my deer camp in Yazoo City. This is it, after you've already done the social media shit, right? I like just you, started. Like I had just done the Disney video. The, the live oh, so you're video. not big. Oh, so yeah. you are you are nobody. No, you're nobody. Some Walmart. You're Snapchatting. I, that, I'm Snapchatting. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 That's it. I'm, I'm just chilling. And I went up to Yazoo City, our deer camp, with my buddy Possum, Fry, and Beagle. And we went up there. That's and, how I know your company is going to be successful because you just said you're Possum, possum Fry, Fry and, Beagle. and Beagle. You're done. You're in. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that, right. I, I am. You're, you started out right. Yeah, I'm, I'm kicking it. Well, we're up there and we're playing cards. We're playing Boo at the table, right? And we're just in there, and I am sloshed. At this point, and I ended up passing out like in the recliner, but not really because I was just laying across like where the feet came out because it was broken and it wouldn't close. Right. And I woke up the next morning and I'm like stumbling to the kitchen trying to find some fucking coffee. And I look on the table and it's like this napkin. Right. And I have it framed in my office and it's a napkin and it's got three bees on it and like a half ass fish a deer that's like even it's standing up it's not even the head of a deer and then like a, a stick bird and like a blob that i think was supposed to be a turkey and i and i i went in there and i was like what the fuck is this and all of them just started laughing like dude you got so sloshed last night you started talking about this outdoor company how you were going to create this bass nice. bucks and birds company where there's never a fucking off season and every you there's something that you can wear and you're going to help this person with it and you're going to uh, cater to vets and this that, and the other and i was like okay so this is real now right okay right. so i took that napkin and i felt like the biggest jackass in the world i walked into the print shed on 49 um and walked in there and <laughs> i saw james and i slid this across the table to him i said can you can you make this into a hat <laughs> i felt so sad because i had no artistic ability yeah. at all and i sat there with him he was so he's so nice he sat there with me for like an hour and he was like explain to me what this is and i finally explained it to him well i didn't have no money right like i like i'm working for 300 dollars a week at this time like I, i'm i'm pushing dirt and eating bloody sandwiches and you probably booed on your last hand so you probably owed the pot 100 percent, 100 percent. and i went and i could afford to buy 12 hats and um i bought i made six of them with red uh b they were all in black hats six with red six with lime green i gave four i gave four of them away i nice. gave i gave uh i, I took one to the five boys. Gave I, I gave uh beagle one possum one fry one everybody my, was there that night and my dad one yeah and um I had like seven left I got, and, and I sold those seven and I was able to buy 12 more. And when I, when I sold those 12, I was able to buy 24. And then when I was able I sold them and then it just kind of started spreading like wildfire. And then I, I would get 48 and then I was, and then I was able to buy nine, six, you yeah. know you know what I'm saying? And we, I just we, kept we on growing, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. growing and growing and growing and to the point that, uh, and the weird part about it is, is I never expected it to do that. I, I got the, inst you remember them real South hunting hats that were in like all the gas stations? Kind of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that was the oh, name. Rip a lip. Yeah. A rip a lip. I saw yeah, those today. Yeah, yeah. I saw them and I would always put them on my head. Right. And they were always Richardson 112s or 115s or o OC cap or something like that. And I, I rolled with Richardson for a long time because I didn't have any other options. And I, now, I mean, we, we sell thousands a month now because people are proud of the brand. They, right. they, they, they actually like it. But now I've gotten to the point that I send my hats overseas and they created my own. Like, this is my hat. Like, it's got my tag. It's not a Richardson. It's oh. got a, No, it's got an increased sweatband in the front of it all the way around to where, like, if you're mowing grass or whatever, you're looking down like a lot of tradesmen do. I've never it, heard anything that was more, I'm a big guy in the South than what you just said. Well, I'm, I, I mean, I'm it, glad it, you just big dick the whole show. Thanks. Big dick the whole show. <laughs> I got my own hat. Yeah. I got my own hat. No, I, 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 I wasn't gonna. Show, I wasn't gonna show my damn hairline on here. But see, I, oh, hold up, hold up. Look at that. Bro, I will stand you up. On Look this at Jared's hole. headline. Okay, I win. <laughs> okay, we're we're good. We're good. I feel, I feel like I'm home now. Oh, you got tons of hair. Yeah. yeah. But see, I, I make my own, and all the way around the inside, you right met here, your people here. I always put that that extended uh, sweatband because I work trades. Like, yeah, you sweat. I work. I was a tradesman for a long time, and I'd be looking down the majority of the time working on something. And I always get sweat in my eyes. Well, I wanted to make it happen for the blue collar man. <laughs> and what pisses me off, like my dad passed away a couple years ago, and and he was super proud of me as far as like my cheers. I appreciate it. Yeah, pops yep, thinking yep, about you still, yep, buddy. Yeah, that sucks, man. But he was always real proud of me because of my work with the veterans and stuff like that with my company. He got to see all this kind of stuff. He didn't get to see me get as big as I am now, but he got to see me the make start it. Up. He knew that I was going to make it. He, right. he, he never, he, was he, like, never I, he never questioned it. All right. And um, 
but he would never wear anything other than that original 12, first 12 hat. Like like the original dozen. The OG. The OG. And like all it was cool is like all of my buddies still have that hat. Like it's don't get me wrong, it's matted and like oh, it, it, all that, that shit. It's, 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 it's like the Apple One computer, right? Yeah, that that yeah. computer looks like shit, but it's like this is where we started. We still have the old old OG brown water hat. Fix your mic player. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was drinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. We still have the, the, the number one OG brown water hats. It's just something that like that's a starting point. Yeah, it, 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 it reminds yeah. you where you come from. Like, yeah, yeah. Like uh Possum actually he he lives with me now and he he geeks over at the house uh he just got back from Chicago, and I walked into his room. I was, I was helping him unload his shit and just threw it down. And I look up on his dresser, and he has the OG, the red OG 12 hat just sitting there. And I, like, almost started crying because, like, it meant something to him. Like, that's, yeah. what, that's one of my buddies that was there when it happened. And don't get me wrong, I didn't, I didn't fuck him out of anything. Whenever it started, I, like, everybody was there. I was like, look, do y'all want in on this? Okay, put put some money up. Let's put let's make a run at this. All of them were like, no. Oh no, yeah, you're an idiot. You, you were know, drunk. Yeah, I, you, yeah, you were yeah, sleeping you, on the edge of the. You're thing. not gonna do shit. Yeah. But I'm big on principle. So whenever I say I was gonna fucking do something, I did it. And yeah. in their defense, none of them ever came back later after it was excessive. Hey, let me buy you now. No, they they come up to me and they are proud of me and they won't take anything for free. That's what I know how I know I have good friends. Yeah, because they want to pay full price for everything. They want to support me. Right. And and I appreciate that. So I'll support them in whatever they yeah. do. If they want to do underwater basket weaving or stay on their head and blow, I gotta send Justin twenty five dollars for this shirt. Yeah, on Vimbo somewhere because you took it from him for free. For free, yeah. He took you on a fishing trip too, (laughs) and put you on a big ass cobia. He did. Yeah, I knew this was going to be a damn good show. Yeah, Yeah, I enjoyed. I knew it. it. I knew it. It kind of flew by. I'm not probably not for the viewers, but for us, it did. Dude, it's I've been watching the numbers. It's uh, it's very consistent. It's it's good. It's really consistent. I think we should do it again. So we're doing Saturday night. And is there, is there anything happening after the show? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. So after yeah. parties at the chilling IP because uh, I know it's, it, but we got our rooms there. No, that's a good. That's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we got our rooms there and everything, so we don't have to drive. We encourage anybody to please do not drink and drive yeah. after the show. There will be police. There right. will be policemen looking for it. And if we see that you've had too much, we will cut you off. Correct. You can come have a good time. Don't Correct. get sloppy. Correct. But do not drink and drive. Uber's cheaper than a DUI, 100%. and it's it's not worth taking somebody's life for. But after the show. All four of the boys will be at the at the chill and the IP and and the whole crew. So it's gonna be a party. y'all hanging out, rubbing elbows. Oh, yeah, I'm going I, at some point. I'm going to the fucking craps table, but it's I'll I'll be at the chill first. Yeah, I got I got wait on the riff raft to get away from me so I can go play my money. That's I like that. I like yeah. that, dude. That's gonna be a good time, dude. I love what you're doing. I love what you stand for. I love the honesty about it. I yeah. don't know. I, I knew tonight was gonna be a good one. I knew it was gonna be fun. I hope everybody enjoyed Shout it. Shout out your websites real yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah. So uh, all all my outdoor merch is at uh, bbboutdoors.com. Uh, my all my tickets and my upcoming events or lack thereof, for that matter, is well, is at zachrushinglive.com. You, you're not quitting though. So, we'll really. See. No, ain't no way. I think, to be honest, I, I Book and th- company be damned. No, it's not. It's not that I don't accept defeat. Well, he's gonna be so doing. That's my point. He's that's gonna my be point. doing what he wants. He's gonna be fishing. He's gonna be hunting. He's gonna be golf. playing okay. golf. All right, yeah, here's yeah, a yeah. question that we haven't asked the entire time of the show: Do you love doing the stand up part of it? I absolutely. Which one's better though? The 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 camera, cell phone in the truck, or the or the or the crowd? I'm gonna get a little bit soft for a second and tell you that I love the crowd. And on the stage better. It's an energy. It, it's not even because of that. It's because I am physically getting to watch me make somebody else's day better. Yeah. That, that, I call that, that energy. That's that, what I call energy. Yeah. So yeah, I, yeah, if yeah. I can look out there and I always pick out one fucking person every time there's one guy and he's always a hard ass. Oh, yeah. Like, I, ain't like this, dude. I like that motherfucker right there. We'll yeah. laugh. But I have to go rub my nuts on his chin. <laughs> it's fucking happening. He's <laughs> laughing or I'm not getting off this damn stage. Right. Right. But right. no, I absolutely love the stand up. And I think uh, what I'm going to do is instead of doing 40 shows and 50 shows a year, uh, we were talking about it within the team. It's not confirmed yet. I think we're going to do tri-state areas and we're going to do uh, the 1,000 to 1,500 to 2,000 seaters. But I'm making my ticket. So I'm probably 25 bucks a piece. I don't want anybody. I got that from Luke Combs. Well, if you cut the middleman out, right, and do it yourself. I don't right? even, I, it, it's not even in it to make money. It's the fact of not everybody has $55 to come see me. And that's the same thing Luke Combs said. And I'm not a huge fan of him because because he uh, he, he he apologized for some shit that, that Southerners don't apologize for back in the day. And I'm big on principle. Yeah. And um, But I do like his, his energy when it comes to his ticket price. He said that every one of his shows, there will always be a $25 ticket to where, even regardless if you – if you don't make as much money as the other people, you still deserve to come see the show. So right. I, I think that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do a uh, 
on top of that, I'm going to do a veteran discount. I just yeah. want, I just want yeah. to have fun. Yeah, and y'all are, y'all are grinding because you told us before the show y'all are setting up chairs and everything. Oh no, this is 100. percent oh. this is us. Yeah. yeah, good point though. It's all seated in the group. No, okay, no. So uh, 400 of them are downstairs because I think yeah. it's 800 and something capacity, almost 900. 770. Uh, with, with our layout, because we got to yeah. leave we got to leave room for merch boots. And, and then there's and, a yeah. there's, uh, Is there upstairs? Uh, upstairs. Yes, there's yeah. 330 upstairs and yep. 400 on stairs, so it's 730 total. And there's not a bad seat in that house. No, no. there's really not. And yeah. I didn't want to put chairs and stuff underneath the the balconies and all that shit. It, no, there's not a bad seat. Yeah, it's gonna be a hell of a time. It's gonna be a damn good time. I can already tell you, dude. So yeah, hey, don't quit though. Don't quit the damn. Don't quit the stand up. If you like it, like you say you do, don't do. Don't do that. I don't think I'm gonna quit. I think I'm gonna take a year off, and I think I'm gonna um focus on golf. I think I'm gonna focus on growing my brand. I I feel like that the the good old boy deserves an outdoor brand that he can be proud to wear, but also cares about him instead of just making fucking money. And that means a lot to me. It always has because not everybody has. If, if you're a tournament fisher on weekends or, or, or all these bass trails right here, not everybody can go buy a G Loomis rod. Right. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't cost that to make them rods. And but but you're but, a capitalist. You got, I mean, you got to make money, right? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go hungry. Correct. But at the same time, I'm you're not gonna, trying to buy four houses in freaking, I, uh, I live in wool market, Mississippi. Y'all <laughs> yeah, right. like, like, you don't understand the cost of living down here, baby. Market, baby. Yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, I'm not in the Hollywood Hills, dude. That's hey, not, we need yeah. to pay my salary. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, right. I don't need to live anywhere else. I don't want anything. When I first started making a little bit of money, I bought what I wanted. I bought, I bought a custom rifle cause I'm big and I couldn't find a rifle to fit me. So I bought me a custom rifle. And I do you realize most people say that like, house like a, a bins or so, you know, you're like a, a custom i bought a player. rifle I, and I, a black I, 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 I'm I, speaking <laughs> I, I live this shit yeah. I, I bought me a rifle and then my second one which i had to think about for about three months was i bought a scope <laughs> yeah as you go with swarsky mm. yeah all right you can't afford it no i shoot leopold like a bitch <laughs> They make good scopes. I'm always icon, baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, hey, I can get it at Walmart. Player, I yeah. was big dicking around long shot hunting. Oh, yeah. When I was walking out oh, with yeah. that source, you're like, I yeah. gotta go psych this motherfucker yeah. in. And yeah. I got over there, and it's got like 15 fucking turnbuckles. Yeah, yeah. I literally hey, had to tell everybody, yeah. like, anybody know how to psych? <laughs> yeah. Hey, like seal in. Team Six, won't you yeah. click that in, player? Yeah. You're like, I, I like unscrewed the top of it, looking for the clicker, and it was a battery. I said, I'm fucked. I'm done. Yeah. I'm I can't click a penny on top of it. Tried three times. I'm fucked. No, but that's that's I don't I don't want to change. I just want to um I want to I just want to do right, and that that's my thing. I, I enjoy laughing. I enjoy cutting up, fucking shit up, and shit like that, just like anybody else does. But I really have a goal to where I make shit affordable for people with quality. I like that. That that that, like that that is my goal. I like that. Don't quit doing the stand up. No, I, 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 I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to the brand. Though. I'm ready. Yeah, the, tell me this after y'all come to the show Saturday night. After the show, tell me don't quit or quit. We'll do that. Oh, I can already tell you, but yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I, I want to go. I want to okay. go to the show. I'm like, looking forward to the brand. I got, I got to the, the brand. I'm looking forward to the brand. What do you mean, like gr- grown? No, I'm up? looking forward to his hunting line that's coming out. His mm. fishing. Oh, line. okay, yeah. yeah, and yeah I yeah. want to hear about this. I, like seriously, this golf shit. Yeah. That's great. Hey, where is that going to be? Can you say or no? You can't. Say no, we're no. gonna, we're gonna flip. We're, I'm not gonna do it at one course because I can't. No, 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 no. no. I mean, distribution wise, how, how will people? Can you, you say too. that? Uh, all look everything. My, uh, okay. My golf. My, uh, my cooking. My, um. My, perfect my fishing perfect. my hunting, everything's going to and my podcast well, well the only thing that won't be on youtube is my podcast my podcast is actually going to be done through zach rushing live because i've already gotten two warnings and i haven't done a fucking episode yet yeah from my youtube uh manager because i still have a manager there saying look he, he advised me he was pretty cool about it. he said look dude just do it on your site where we can't do shit about it and then after that send me the video yeah but so post another, it on here, like in other words understand that you're going to get hit on some things post it through your site and then you can take the little small clips yeah, you'll and take throw those little, on yeah. youtube right well, well what right? i'm going to do is i'm going to take and i'm going to film maybe one or two episodes then i'm going to get up to my 2.7 million followers on facebook and be like i found my damn safe space but it ain't safe for nobody else y'all come to zach rushing live.com and that's just great for your cha- for your uh your own personal website the only thing right? that, I, that i don't like that i'm having to do is uh in order to do it that way through my own personal site you got to pay for the whole for the i have to pay a production company in order to, in order to do it like li- licensing wise I've, I've got so many now that as far as like distribution wise that they license the content to go to each platform where i don't get copyright infringement does that make sense i'm not advanced enough to understand what you just said but okay. i do understand what you're saying okay so uh, whenever if what, it's on your website you own it no you own it until you post it here's the thing whenever you post it and you're monetized on every platform so if i was to post a clip 
to or a uh, let's let's say I post a five minute clip or right. whatever right. to Facebook. Correct. I turn around and post that to YouTube. Mm-hmm. Okay, same thing. I have to get it licensed that it can be used on all platforms, or because it, basically you're double dipping is what I'm saying. Okay, they're not going to let you double dip on all these different monetizable platforms, but because YouTube, I mean, because Facebook and Instagram are owned by the same company, right? Meta. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah they're owned by Meta. Yeah, you, YouTube's got its own fucking thing going on. I'm pretty sure they own stock in TikTok now. So they're not going to let you double dip on both platforms unless you pay them something. So they have this whole thing going together where you have to, like, we have a video that we're trying, we're trying to post it today. We couldn't get the licensing for it. it. They wouldn't get back to us today in time because it has background music. It's a hype video for the for Saturday night show. Okay. Uh, and, so and, you got to get the copyrights off the and I had to, and see, and I had to get the copyright. Not, not only, that I understand. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. Not only for Facebook, but for YouTube and for TikTok and for Instagram and for Twitter and all that type of stuff. It's all got. I'm to the point now that I'm not taking any risks. I would rather charge someone three dollars a month to watch it, my podcast, right? And let them be okay with it, and and say what the fuck I want to. Where we don't ever have to worry about being canceled. Correct. We don't ever have to worry about anything. I can do this podcast until the day that I die, mm-hmm. and it's going to cost you three dollars a month to, to to watch it, so I can pay my production company. That's going to be on your website, yep. and that will be on Zach Rushing Live. Yep. Not yet. It's look look for it around December. All right. Well, dude. We're ready to come on whenever you're ready. This, yeah, I, tonight I, was fun. Yeah, yeah this, this was, was a good fun. time. I that enjoyed it, y'all. Really good. That was a damn good time. Uh, I love what you're doing. I love what you stand for. I love that uh, you're not afraid. Uh, it's get, The world's getting a little bit weird. It's and, it, they're and, becoming closer. You know, and people people got to stand up. Gigantic. Right well, and, 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 yes. and, and, and you're not afraid to be – you're not uh, exclusive. No. You see what I'm saying? It's just here's where I'm at. You do you, I do me. That's it. I mean, Take it, it or leave it. It's that simple. It, uh, I'm Zach. Man, I'm always going to be Zach. I don't plan on fucking changing. And you That's help right. people out, bro. We would say go buy tickets Saturday, but it's all sold out. I know. I, know. <laughs> you can't. I would flash the damn promo. Well, you can't. I, well, I mean, I appreciate everything like that, but I mean, I, <laughs> you I, can't. I, I can't. We've had we've been hovering around like six tickets left for like the last three days Jesus. because somebody will buy something. Somebody would be like, oh, it's Father's Day. We got to refund it. Right. right, that, right. But the reason that I did it on Father's Day is because I'm having a hard time on Father's Day with my dad being gone you know, for, for two years. I wanted to spend it doing something that. Yeah. It would make me happy. You yeah. call me selfish if you want to. I'm giving you Father's uh, Day. I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing yeah, it on Saturday. Would be proud. Yeah, yeah would exactly. Be proud. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why. That's why yeah. I'm doing it. But y'all keep checking because if we do get refund requests from people and stuff like that, so that they'll shut off and say sold out. Then there'll be two left. And there's right. so y'all yeah. keep checking or or come in the parking lot like I said and don't yeah and just do, protest. Like a, What's the opposite of protest? Retest? <laughs> Jesus. Just, just go in the parking lot and say what I, you want in. Actually, just turn into yeah. brown water and we'll charge fifty dollars for a stream. We'll go live. <laughs> nice. Like, like for next year. Entrepreneur, sir. <laughs> for next year's show, we'll do a pay per view. Right, there right, it is. There you right, go. Pay per view, baby. Roy hey, Jones. Look, thanks everybody. Zach, thanks for being here tonight. Yeah, appreciate thanks y'all. everybody for Thank watching, y'all. tuning in, listening to it on the live and on the replay, dude. This was a fun one. I knew it was yeah, gonna be good. good. And uh, if y'all keep tuning in, we'll keep we'll keep.